it, it's been a weird week. Yeah. It's been, did you notice all the rain today? Where? Why, that sounded like a weird scripted. I did want to talk to you about the weather, but it was not about rain. Is it about clouds? It's not about clouds. Because it's not you're yet, not allowed it's to not talk yet to me. time to talk you're about You're not clouds. allowed to talk to me about clouds. I know. Dude, I woke up this morning and, oh, I got to tell you about my morning because it was so bullshit. Um, I woke up and I was like, I got up early at 7 instead of oh, 7.25 for my 7.30 meeting. Uh-huh. I woke up 25 minutes early after ignoring my 6 o'clock alarm, the 6.30 alarm, and then snoozing it five, you know, five times. Bright-eyed saying, and bushy-browed. Mm-hmm. In- instead of just saying, why don't just set your alarm for 7 Yeah. and then wake up once and not be in pain, Yeah. And I was like, because I want to get stuff done. Yeah. And like, I feel like we can all kind of relate to that. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the, uh, the gambler's lie. Yeah. It'll be better in the morning. Mm-hmm. So I got up and it was like heavy storming, which turns out really, yeah, like oh, it didn't get down here. It was like heavy rain, and I was like, ooh, like heavy thick. rain. Mm. Jason, Jay- Sean, Sean, Sean. <laughs> um, no, so we okay. So I I got up and I was like, oh fuck yeah! I'm like I got my jeans on, I got my hoodie on, and I'm like I haven't worn a hoodie all summer. Yeah, well, because I need to ha- cover my head because I had I wasn't able to park because the, of the the dermatitis. That skin. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Did you see the four gears in my head? Right? Like yes. desperately the, thinking. The dust comes off as it's like <laughs> the little man up there, like <sighs> one day I'll come home. You know. Um no, so yeah, so like it was like heavy rain and um you know, got on my hoodie and everything. Jesus. And I was like, I was like, you know what? I'm like, it's rainy, yep. which is amazing, and it's gonna be all nice and muggy outside, and I'm like, hopefully it's gonna be storming all day. Not in Arizona. Not the case. Very every once in a while it does. It does. But like once a year, and you never know what day it is. Yeah. And and it'll do it for like three days. Oh. Yeah. And we all act as though like you know, it, it, well it, the freeways flood because we don't have proper infrastructure mm-hmm. for rain. True. I remember so, being like, at the office one year when like the floods got so bad and like the the, the sheer, sheer amount of water that with yes. all like the dirt and dust. Oh, I'm on the second floor and it's brown water all yeah. the way up and I'm just like, I'm gonna drive home because I wanted to go home and so yeah. you know. We were going 15 on the on the 202. Yeah, on the 202. 202, Katy Perry. Well, that's how Brandon's... Featuring Kathy Berry. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, Brandon's like Google Maps, mm-hmm. or not Google, I think it was Google Maps, I don't know. It, His ways. It always... <laughs> His Bixby. <Yeah. laughs> don't get negative. <laughs> His, His thing, like whenever you would get on the 202, it would go on the 202. Oh, like it so was weird. just like fucked up. I don't know. Cause why. it like the way it like pronounced. Yeah. Yeah. So I went and got coffee this uh, morning in and the rain in the rain. Cause I was like, I got my, well, I didn't get hot coffee. I got my iced coffee. Cause mm-hmm. I started not just getting fresh. Cause you were going for like cool vibes. Cool yeah, I, vibes I wasn't wearing, I was wearing a hoodie. Yeah. Let's just say enough. Uh, no scarf. Uh, no scarf this year. I'm not Jason. I couldn't pull off a scarf. I could pull off a scarf and put it back in the box that I got it in and said, not confident not yet. Yeah. It's just, you gotta have bravado. our scarves. A matter of confidence? I haven't seen an unconfident person wear a scarf. I feel like I, it could be misplaced. To like hide things. Like you're No no you know, not confident, and so you're like, I don't you know, I'm gonna no, You I'm hide gonna your whore scarf. your whore marks from your hickeys. <laughs> That's why Jason would wear one. No, Jason wore Jason wore an infinity scarf because he wanted to like smell like an art student. Yeah. Which what like he, Oh he did business no, he yeah, he did communication or whatever. He did that too. <laughs> That's not what his degree was in. It, might, it was business. Well, wow. it's just the art of the deal. Um, <laughs> no, so I got coffee and I was like all excited because I'm like I'm having a good day. I'm like it's like seven twenty. I'm back home. I'm like getting stuff open. You know how long it can take to get stuff open. And Zuki's like I want to come cuddle on the. You know it's all rainy. Although yeah. right when I got back to my house, and this is all in a matter of like fifteen minutes, the heavy rain had stopped and it was just light rain. And I'm like. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. It's done, and I was like, and I just knew I'm like, it's only gonna get better from here, and I'm like, that sucks, and I hate yeah. it. I'm like, can you just be over? Because then it'll be days where it's all overcast all day, but like no rain. Yeah, and you're like, why and are you gonna edge me? That overcast is smoke from a fire and globe. Oh, that happens, and you're like, that's happened like twice, which yes. is a, a large amount of times it happened. And it's like, oh, it's cloudy outside. You know, like maybe it's gonna rain today, and then you realize those aren't clouds. That's it's smoke. Ash. Yeah. And you go outside and you go, it's like apocalypse now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Heart of Darkness, you know. That's what it is. Hearts of Darkness, way better than Apocalypse Now. Um, mm-hmm. No, so, I, I, like, Zuki, like, gets his little fat ass, and he's like, I'm going to just, like, sit, big and I see it in slow motion. The big, juicy kitty, you know, kitty patootie. Right. Kitty pooty. Uh, and he just, like, th- like thunks his fat ass down, like, to the side, mm-hmm. and I just see my, my cup of coffee, my iced, uh, iced white mocha. Uh-huh. I was trying to do a peach bellini bit, but I yeah. couldn't remember the name of the drink. Yeah. Uh, and it just, and I go, oh no. And it drops and I'm like, fuck. And of course it spills a little bit out. And I'm like, guess where it spilled? Did it spill just on my desk to be cleaned up? No. Or did it spill on the 10 key part of my mechanical 10 key keyboard yeah. that I then fucking screamed and went, you get out. And he goes, looking at me like, what could I? No, he knew what he did. And he just immediately started booking it. Like he knew he fucked and yeah. it was at this moment he knew he, knew he, he fucked, fucked up. up. And, like, he ran, and I'm like, good. I mean, I'm not going to hit him, but, like, I'm going to be really mad at him. Yeah. And he can feel it because he knows English, and he can speak it, but he hides it from me. Um, and I got it all out of my keyboard. He's still working hit... on French. Y- yeah. Yeah. You know. He's like, noir. <laughs> Je m'appelle uh, Kitty. Fat, juicy dumper. <laughs> he goes, a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Zuko tries to be Remy, where when I'm like in the bathroom, he'll try to jump on my head and try to control me. And I'm like, all I do is flail. Yeah. And he just he's like, progress. And he goes back into his litter box and he's like making notes. That's what he's hiding under the sand <laughs> is his notes on his ratatouille. Yes. Remy. He has an etch a sketch under the cat litter and he's just like <laughs> <laughs> working on it. <laughs> and then I look up and he goes, and he shakes it so you can't see his notes. <laughs> and then he like and like sprints away. And like I don't understand why cat like cat zoomies are so weird, especially compared to dog zoomies. Because dog yeah. zoomies are just the jazz. Yeah. But cat zoomies are hiding secrets. Cat zoomies, it it's like something just like clicked I don't in like the, the brain. Store. And they just saw something. I don't like what store? Cat zoomies. Cat zoomies? Yeah. I don't get it. They sell shoes. Isn't there a store like at the malls called like Zoomies? Is there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'll take your word for it. I could have swore it's called Zoomies. It probably is. I'm really disappointed because I, I feel to, like I this been is to a bit. Mall in a long time. Well, I haven't been to a Justice in a while, but you know. Just for girls. Okay, so we were talking on stream the other day that like I was like I kind of want to get like my ears pierced and yeah. I don't know how I would do it and yeah. I was like should I just go to Claire's and everyone's I like I know I was yeah. there or Target no I know but like I was saying I went to Claire's and it was fine everyone was like don't go to Claire's it'll kill you and then someone was like you know you can go to Target and I'm like you really mean to tell me that Target does a better job than Claire's I doubt it they serve nasty popcorn at Target they serve the people who serve that popcorn old personal pan pizzas. And from Pizza Hut, and it's the exact same person, the person mm. making. It's the, the pizza. person right in front of me. It's the person who pierces your ears. He pierces. They pierce your ears a little bit of grease. That's yeah. how it sticks. They pierce it with a fork. Well, it's it's a spork because you know. Didn't turn the water off. To the that's toilet. all right. It's our it's our fifteen minutes. It time. keeps us on time. Well, I mean, it's been ten and a half minutes, so I mean, I guess we just roll right into it. Yeah. Do you mind closing that hot door? What hot door? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. The cold open. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody hello everyone and welcome to the hell, hell yeah, yeah podcast. podcast i'm steve i'm eric D- don't forget it <laughs> <laughs> and put some respect on it God, yes and this is our podcast where we just have a conversation shit. It, and then we answer some questions. i don't have a firearm oh. <laughs> not anymore in this state no okay well my it's current state of denial no <laughs> I'm just checking it against the public records that I have that say otherwise. Mm-hmm. Well, I got it at, a, at, a, at an anxiety fair. <laughs> at a Target. I got it at a Target <laughs> next to the next to the <laughs> next to the. It's a. It's one of the. It's, it's what's crazy is is that like it's it's the big pizza cutter, but it's like the yeah. one that like Chuck E. Cheese uses, where it's like a big like wheel, a and at the end because it's also like a pseudo Claire's, uh-huh. it's just like a neat like, a piercing little, gun, a, a piercing gun, <laughs> and so they can go like you can go slice. Ch- so you kind of got to like lay your head. You lay your head it's, down it's very guillotine esque, but yeah. like guillotine adjacent. he only fucks up like forty percent of the time. So like yeah. a sixty percent approval rate is and you would not hear, approval success rate. And you would hear the scream because Target refuses to play music. God, no, they don't. I don't get. Do you know why they refuse to play music? Why? I had to 
we learned about this in a marketing class that mm -hmm. I had to take, which was that Target has found in studies that they, when they tested like having music and not having music, that no one minded if there was not music, mm -hmm. but that people, when they heard music, if they heard a song they did not like, they disliked that more than they would potentially Ooh. dislike hearing nothing. That makes sense. Which I understand, but I still disagree with because I'm like, if you go into a Target and like there's not that many people in it, it is so uncomfortable because it is so. I mean, quiet. I personally, as I've as I've gotten into the later of the 2010s mm -hmm. into 2020s, as you've entered your twilight years, my twilight years, yeah, it's all downhill. Yeah, that's your 37. It's been downhill since you know. That incident in the lunchroom. Well, it was down my leg. It was down rolling the downhill. downhill. <laughs> right out the pant leg. Aren't we all just rolling down God's pant leg? Sometimes you hear the shit rolling out of the pant <laughs> leg. leg. Sometimes you're the kid who shit. Sometimes you're the lunch lady. You're the lunch lady trying to help the kid. No, sometimes you're the lunch lady who's just like, you don't have enough money on your card. And sometimes you're the lunch attendant. Yeah. And sometimes you're the kid behind the kid who shit rolled out of his pants and you're trying to be a good person and not mm -hmm. act like you saw it, but you saw it and you remember and you're never going to forget it. And far later, you always life, look them up when, on Facebook every once in a while, you, you know, in a podcast, what's your most embarrassing moment? You go, well, I don't really have one, but this one time when I was a kid, I swear to God, the guy in front of me, <laughs> where you went my school, <laughs> it was you. And it, was, it was me. It's a flashback. And it's just you right now. Like as an adult, just as in line. Adult. I'm here to see the shit. <laughs> if you could time travel to any point, where would it be? When Odie shit himself? When Odie shit himself. I mean, I would go see you shit. <laughs> you fucking shit. Yeah. myself three times. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Twice, um, two and a half. Yeah, yeah, half. yeah, yeah, of course. I don't under... Okay, so, like, obviously, like, I started using, like, earbuds and, like, listening obviously. to music. So that, like... <laughs> I mean, fuck you, I guess. You know, that's fair. That's fair. You started using earbuds? Yeah, yeah. So, like, when you go to a store, like, I don't remember the wait, last time... Wait, wait, wait. You use earbuds in a store? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I always have one earbud in. Oh, that's weird. So I'm always listening to something as I go through like like fries or something. That scares me. Why? I feel like you're not situationally aware. What if there's a what if there's an accident? Well then I'll run away quickly because But you won't know out the, the pant leg. You won't know the accident. No, 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 I, it's my accident. Well, you can't outrun your own accident. No, no, no. What do you mean an accident? A car accident? What if something happens? Like what? What would happen in a grocery store? What if one of the aisles falls over? And you won't you won't hear the telltale wobbling noise because your right ear currently is playing music. It's the same thing of why you're not supposed to use earbuds when you're driving. Situational awareness. I fear for you. You you fear that <laughs> that, that that the grocery store aisles you're, are gonna you're fall. Small, on me? The aisle could crush well, you. Well, that's just it. I'm small, I have an advantage. Because if it starts falling, I can start climbing. Well, if it starts falling, you could just like dive towards it because like it'll I'm trying land to dive through. Yeah. yeah. If anything, I just go prone and I'll be fine. Yeah. Well, I actually just open up one of the bag, like one of the little like containers with like the peanut butter pretzels, and I just uh, slip slide, slip right in, and I go. But you won't know to do that because you'll have a headphone in, and you won't hear. See what I'm listening the to is, creaking. is the security comms. In, there you go. In, the, in that weird room they have. Yeah, that's not true. I'm listening to like YouTube videos. Yeah. Well, it's just because like I always want to do it because I also don't like getting talked to when I'm at the grocery store because Who's I know to talk to at the grocery store employees walking back somewhere but at the grocery store like it, i have found that like in grocery stores i'm often i finally feel at peace because it's a place where i'm ignored mm -hmm. they don't want me there they don't care that i'm there it's not like get your shit and get out yeah like they could not give a shit less about my existence everyone's but then, like, here to get their loot and leave right but then like if you go into a gap for example no can under we, duress, can, uh, because Navy. as established, we're always only taking their under duress. I go to Old Navy. Well, they, they don't talk to you in Old Navy. Oh, you fucking right. That's why I shot there. <laughs> exactly. But that's why I'm saying gap. At a yeah. gap, they'll be like, oh, can, I, can I get you a bag? Can, can I help? Can I, are you looking, can I get you another size? And I'm like, I'm like I appreciate I did not ask for that you're, you're doing this because I know you're supposed to. But please recognize that I would prefer zero help. And there's a difference between going up and saying, hey, if there's, um, do you need any help? Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, if you need anything, just let me know. Because mm -hmm. then it's like, I appreciate that. Because I'm like, I understand you're doing what you need to do. Right. And then you're you're not forcing me into the conversation. It's just, because mm -hmm. I'll always go like, yeah, thank you. No problem. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, every once in a while, you can't find that fucking thing. And you do need help. I've but you don't want to. Well, you, but you don't want to ask 
the guy who asked, who was like, you know, fucking snorting good work juice before work. I don't know. The people who like are way too fucking customer service yeah. where it's like they're, they're pep, you know, and it's yeah. like, fucking relax, dude. I want to talk to the burnt out person who's just, I'm just like, shoes. And they're like, I have four, dude. And I'm like, I left want- side or right side? They're like, I don't fucking know. And I'm like, that's what I like to hear. Well, I want like, like I want customer service availability, mm-hmm. but I don't want it like impressed upon me. Like mm-hmm. I want to see that there are associates and you know, like that they look relatively, you know, willing to receive a question, mm-hmm. but I don't want them to talk to me. I don't even, I don't even need to be asked like, Oh, can I help you? No, no, no. If I need help, I will find you. I just want you to look yeah. available. Not well, that you're not doing anything, but like, just don't look mean. But I guess that's just, Unless that's you're having a bad day, in which case like look pissed. Dude, I remember. So when I worked at Safeway back in the day, which the entire reason I worked at Safeway was because I worked at a restaurant or a bar and then they didn't pay anybody. Yeah. And then, and then you worked for that like startup, but you stole a laptop. I did. I didn't steal you it. Didn't I did steal a laptop. I actually, I did. I quit Safeway to work at that startup. Oh, that's right. But when I worked but at Safeway. Did you go back to Safeway? No. Oh. No. Then I was trying, I was, I was doing the, the banners. I was working for the rabbi. Right. The banner thing. Yeah. yeah. And then I got my job at the hotel. And then I was like, oh, this is cool. Mm-hmm. Which, again, if that paid more, I would be doing that every day. Yeah. Work overnights. It's easy. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but no, so when I worked at Safeway, there was, um, there was this one guy who worked at, um, he was just a cashier. And he had to be, I don't know, his 40s. He was a nice enough guy. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure he watched men's tennis. Okay. Like, very, very much so. But, like, not like it, it's weird or anything, but this was also, like, 2000, like, 13, 14. So it was still, like, not as, like, open with things and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And um, that's not relevant to the story. Well, actually, it is kind of relevant. Because, uh, so he was just the, he was, like, that cashier that was, like, I really don't give a fuck. Like, just scan your shit and go. Mm-hmm. Don't talk to me. Yeah. But then, because, like, he got talked to by one of our managers because, like, you know, you couldn't be saying negative things. And they're like, well, when someone asks, how are you, why would I lie to them? And he would just go, you know, I'm not having a good day, actually. No, I'm actually pretty pissed. You know, I, was, I wasn't I was supposed to work today, and I got called in under threat of, fi- you know, just, like, full on, just, like, not giving a shit. And I'm yeah. like, oh, and I'm like, he could still be there. Maybe. Because he was just doing it just... I forget why. Like he did something else. Like entirely. I want to say he made music actually, and this mm. was quite literally just like something Stable. to do. Yeah, like he literally was like, I just ride my bike, you know. And that's, I'm like, do you have a car? He's like, yeah. Like, why would I spend gas money to get here? And I'm like, you know what? Okay. I'm. I don't want to hang out with you after work because he would never ask me to hang out with him because right. he's too cool. Yeah. It's that weird thing, you know, when you're like. Like you're like late teens, early twenties, you're working in that sort of thing where it's like there's some people that are just like, I'm never going to like you're not in the circle of trust yet. Yeah. And you're like, whatever. Like, I just want to know what you do outside of work. And he's like, No. And I'm like, how dare you? Me, who's open about most things. How dare you be Too close many to things? Me? Yeah. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. So about the weather. Yeah. Tell me about your thing that you want to talk about, I guess. So I have a gazebo in my backyard, as you are aware. Is it tamed? Well, lately. It wasn't when I bought it. Impala? <laughs> Isn't no. Tame Impala a thing? Is that, that, a, is that a band? I don't know. Something I mean, Impala. It is. It is. Yeah. 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 Could not tell you one of their songs. See, it's just it. Sometimes I like I'm like I know just enough about something to like start a bit, but I'm yeah. like, but if you don't have more knowledge than I do, then like it just Yeah. Okay, gazebo. So I have a gazebo. A gazebo. Yeah, if you will. A pergola. It's not a pergola. Some people call them that. That's not a pergola. That's it's wrong. a different thing. Gazebos are for having picnics and burying your wife under. Yeah. I mean, but I don't, only after you killed her. You've done like a moonlight dance with her under it under an auspicious occasion earlier in the past. And then when she oh. dies under mysterious circumstances, then you can bury her there. But you also bury her and then you bury the dog and then you build a gazebo because it's your morning gazebo, which yeah. is a great way to say, here's a beacon for the body. Anyway, <laughs> so I have a gazebo. There's not a dead woman under it. Um, Did you actually? To my it? knowledge. I, it, was, it was already built. So you're not at fault. <laughs> it wasn't mine. <laughs> um, so... The, people would think that you were near another person by right. choice 
Honestly, people think we're at the same table. <laughs> we're recording this on separate days. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So, I just predicted what you would say. We, yeah. just, we film each line that we say. We, we, we say it and then, and then send and it then to each other. And we text it to each other. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had that gazebo. So it, like, you know, it, 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 it's been teasing that it would rain. There's been the illusion mm-hmm. of rain mm-hmm. recently. Oh, because yours has, like, the, the like, bug out thing around mm-hmm. it, right? It's like a tarp. Yeah. So it, 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 not it's a tarp. Not, tarp's it's not the right word, but you know cloth. what I mean. Yeah. So, it's very nice. Yeah. Um, so there was a storm, storm. on Saturday. 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 Um, there was a storm on Saturday. Saturday and so, storm. like, my sister texted me. Mm. And, you know, she lives farther up north. And farther up north than I do. And so she was, she texted me and she's like, hey, there's like a thunderstorm headed south, lots of rain and everything. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, like, cause, um, she'd read something about how like, you're not supposed to have like your pool filter on when like it's thunderstorming. Cause I guess like if lightning hits the pool, then it'll like fry your system. It's not bad advice. It's just oddly specific advice. Mm-hmm. That is the kind of thing my okay. sister would warn me about. Mm-hmm. She'd be like, there's a thunderstorm, thunderstorm coming. Turn off your pool filter. I'm not going to say it, but okay. Yes. You know what I was going to say? <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> So I know that, like, I'm thinking rain is coming. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, all right. I'm going to go tool, try to pull Well, she's just, off. she's been busy. She hasn't been feeling well. That's why we haven't seen <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so I'm, like, ready for the rain. Mm-hmm. And I'm, like, laying there on my bed being a lazy shit, watching, yeah. like, a video on YouTube. And I start to hear wind and everything. I'm like, okay, good. Here we go. It's monsoon time. Finally, we're going to get some rain. I go outside, and I look, and it is a torrential windstorm, like dust storm. My phone like does like the dust storm oh, alert yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay. Well, like, but the rain is coming. Surely, after the dust. Surely, there must be rain after the dust settles. Yes. You don't. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm like waiting, and like the wind is picking up, and it's getting like mm-hmm. pretty severe. Mm-hmm. And like you starting to feel it. I'm like, okay, we're is there, getting is there wet I'm in the ready. air? I'm ready. And like I'm seeing lightning in the distance and everything. Like it's got that rain smell. It's like, okay, mm-hmm. we're doing good. We're getting there. We're finally gonna get some fucking rain. Oh, yeah, you're in so this ready. Goddamn state. You've been I'm ready. I feel like Mother Nature has been edging me for months. And you're and about I'm to finally burst. about to fucking bust. <laughs> <laughs> about to bust. <laughs> about busting nut on this <laughs> bust a nut on this gazebo. <laughs> is that because you want to hang out in the gazebo while it's raining? No, oh, but we'll get to the because that also sounds like really nice to have like hot cocoa. Out I would there. honestly love that with like the lights and like a storm mm-hmm. coming in, especially if it's not a thunderstorm per se. Like, I would want to play lighting. like a board game, but I'd want to do something. I don't know what we could do. Yeah, we bring our switches. There you go. But actually, we could do that. That'd actually be kind of cool. Honestly, a nice little card game, maybe something mm-hmm. simple, easy to clean up. It would be kind of nasty, nice. nasty, nasty, nasty. Mm-hmm. A quick so, game of Magic the Gathering. Just a real quick one. Um, tap for man. Well, I mean, with me, it this is, is coming in tapped. Actually, that's not true. I can't turn one combo. This storm came in tapped. Mm-hmm. And it, so like, I'm waiting for it to rain and everything, and I, it's getting very windy. Mm-hmm. So I, I like look out there. It's fucking windy. Windy. And so like those lattices that I have on top of the cement wall, mm-hmm. like they're starting like weebles wobble, but they won't fall down. I'm like, it's definitely getting windy because they don't usually move. Not that I've like secured them better. Well, but, like, like when they stay in their pen. They don't roam too far. Yeah. But they're starting to, like horses in the wind, they're, 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 they're starting to move around a little bit. They're, they're winning. They're just, so I'm getting you're like, work. hush, I'm lattice. Like, All right, hush, hush, lattice. We're getting there. We're going to okay. have You put the stop. blinders over the lattice. Yes, to calm them, to soothe them. I put the storm blanket on the lattice <laughs> to, cool it, to calm it down. So I'm like, <sighs> I'm so ready. Majestic beast, the lattice. Yes. So I'm so ready for this fucking storm. And the gazebo is like not moving because it's huge and it's heavy. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, okay, we're fine. I go back inside. I watch another video. What was the video? It, I don't remember. It was not Bo Burnham's Bezos one on a one hour loop. Mm-hmm. That I was listening to the night before. Oh. This was some like. I still have. I, I know everyone like likes that song. I, I don't remember it from the special. I like the song. I haven't seen the special. Mm-hmm. It was probably some SciShow video about like, you know, like seven new things we learned during quarantine or something. Some bullshit like that. I don't know. It was a video from Gold Guys. I don't know. Yeah. Um, One of the subscriptions you watch because you're like, I liked a video once and then like 
every once in a while, I'm like, fuck, I should just give you a watch. What is it? Yeah. So I still don't hear anything. Mm -hmm. Just normal storm stuff. I come out here to the kitchen to get myself a glass of water. Waiting, 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 waiting. Waiting, waiting. About 15 minutes later, this storm Jen. <laughs> this <laughs> this storm this Jen. fucking Jen. So I'm like, I'm standing here. I'm get filling myself up a glass You're of water. You're right there at your lattice door. <laughs> I'm, I'm like filling up a glass of water. I happened to cast an eye out into my backyard. Re what were you reeling in with your sight? Just, <laughs> and I happened to notice the gazebo is gone. Whoa. The entire gazebo is just gone. All of the table and chairs are still perfectly in place. The two like stand up lights that were framing it, almost mm -hmm. touching it, standing up perfectly in place. The gazebo is gone. What? Just gone. So there's no gazebo? But we haven't gotten there yet. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm this is the most exciting thing we've ever talked about. This is better than top of the tank. This is better than Smash Burger. <laughs> gazebo is gone. So I Gazebo Gate. Yes. 2021. So, so I, and one of the lattices, me, one, one section of moment, the lattice. Just let me get on the edge of my seat. Yes. One section of the mm -hmm. lattice, smaller than the gazebo, Latici. is suddenly missing. And the other ones are all fine. And the one right in like the back corner ah, the is full. gone. The fold of the lattice. <laughs> so I. You didn't secure I'm it. like, where could it have, like, <laughs> where could it have gone? <laughs> I, I go outside and everyone goes, where's, where's the, the gazebo? gazebo? Where's, where's the gazebo? <laughs> So I like, and at this point, it is like the middle of the storm. Like there is lightning happening all over the Does place. Does it blink? Still no the rain. eye of the storm? No. Unyielding. S still no rain. Mm -hmm. But now there's just dust everywhere to the point where I can if barely see. If only your see. melons could see with this no rain. Right. Blind melon, no rain. That's her song reference. It's, it's very okay. But it's probably one of the more popular songs. Okay. That was for what song? <laughs> so like middle of the thunderstorm mm -hmm. lightning the cold joe road there is no rain <laughs> there's no rain there's just dust i can mm -hmm. barely see i like go out i'm looking for my casino in my backyard you're like ray big. you're like ray skywalker yes in the first movie that she was in yeah where it's like a sand a sand it was it jaka jaku yeah yeah jaku yeah it was all sand Jaku. you were on like tatooine yeah dantooine I think that one is forests. Yeah. That's the one that they blow up. I like up. that the planet that's called Hoth is cold. <laughs> like, wow, George, you're really fucking putting I, over the moon. I, that like, one. I liked in uh, in that second movie when it was like Hoth, but now it was red underneath. Oh, my God, because it was salt. Because it was salt. And then he was like, Marg! I was like, salty. <laughs> I'm like, why would you eat it? I, I, and then... It was crazy because then, like, Kylo Ren pulls out this big margarita glass to salt the rim. <laughs> and he's like, a big gulp to rule the galaxy. <laughs> and the cantina band's like, do 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 do, do. <laughs> Riding on top of the AT. -AT. And then there were pod racers again. Yeah. Bring them back. Well, there kind of was. With the little, with Stop. The little, like, and for some reason, they had that little, like, skip thing, like, touching mm -hmm. on the ground just so they could do, like, red clouds. And I'm like... We get it. We all played Need for Speed Carbon. Like it, it wasn't cool. as good as Most Wanted. No, it wasn't. Well, the yeah, original Most glow. Wanted. Well, yeah. I don't. That new one doesn't exist. They remade it. I know. Which is but of all games to game. remake. No, no, no. They re or remastered Need for Speed Most Wanted. The the newer one. Oh. From what I understand. Oh no. Because I do remember having like there was a special edition of like the Need for Speed Most Wanted because uh -huh. I had it on PS2 where it was like I it had a couple other like uh, like skins that you're like uh, the, the the like decals like it was like these really cool dragons that was like only on like the like collector's edition or whatever right and like it was cool yeah fuck Razor yeah. he was a punk bitch that cheated he did fucking cheat but like when you first get Nitro racing pinks bro eh. yeah. Also, like, did anyone else, like, whenever you'd have to go and, like, you gotta pick your rewards, immediately shut off your Xbox if you didn't get a pink? Oh, yeah. Because I'm like, well, I was playing it on GameCube. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. I hate it. Every time you booed that up, it was that it was that lady. Hi, mm -hmm. I'm Jody. Mm -hmm. I don't know her last name because yeah. the fastest you could click was after she said, hi, I'm. Mm -hmm. But I think her name was Jody something. 
No, I didn't want to hear from her. I mean, it was kind of cool that actually it was like actual, like, like an act. It was person. cool they did live action. Yeah. For like, you know, some of the cutscenes and everything. And like Discount Slim Shady, who stole your BMW, which then like the BMW isn't the best part. It's not that good. Game. It's not that fucking good. Mirror mm-hmm. Finish, Mercy Lago. Eh. Uh, I mean, I mean, that was the Porsche 911 Carrera. Mm. It was clean. And it was the one you win. Not the one, not one you buy and make yourself. It was the one you win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So my gazebo yeah, was Yeah, your gone. fucking gazebo. <laughs> Where did it go? Where's the gazebo? Where's the gazebo? It was in the alley. It it somehow it could do drugs in the alley. Oh, it, it, it could not have like flipped and tipped or something because <laughs> flipped and tipped because Flip nothing it nothing else in the yard was mm-hmm. disturbed. The storm had to have lifted it up yeah. and dropped it in the alley. Oh my god! And it's too big. Was it standing so upright in the alley or was it upside yes. down? It just went. I don't know if someone wasn't just fucking with you. There's no way. One person can't move it because then I couldn't move it. I had to. I had to get my dad to help me. You, and then, what I, if it was a guy who had four hands? Do they have four arms or just four hands? Just four hands. They're they're right here. It's an extra I don't hand. Know that I would guess. help much. Yeah. So then we had to like, and it, we couldn't get it back over the fence because it's too fucking high. The fences mm-hmm. aren't even that high, but like you can't like. Can't deliver you, it. Even if you to fully extend, you can't get over the wall. You can't get over the wall unless you just fucking launch the fucker. Yeah. So we had to literally like walk it out of the alley all the way to the front of the street, and then take it over the front wall because the front wall is much lower. Mm-hmm. And we were able to like figure that out, and then take out my pool fence to like move it back over. And when we moved it back over, because like the gap between the wall is like too small, I had to be in the pool holding half of the gazebo above my oh. head while like you know we were trying to and the storm was not raging no because there was all of that happened and no there rain. was not a drop of rain not you still got wet yeah be careful what you wish for monkey's paw yeah but i didn't wish to get wet i mm-hmm. wished for rain and you're right and i did not receive it no, that sucks. Like that's also kind of crazy. Like it must it's have just like gotten do. like the wind came from a certain direction and just could pop it up. Because you've seen it like videos with like like trampolines and shit. Yeah, well, it's because the wind was coming from kind of like the northeast, mm-hmm. and usually it would just come more like northward. And because it was like east, with the way the wall works, I'm pretty sure it just kind of like channeled the air to like literally scoop the thing up. Just yeah. So like now I got all kinds of you know things to like keep it in the ground and everything. So. Hopefully mm-hmm. that won't happen again, but yeah. You built a gazebo on top of it. I built a gazebo <laughs> to on keep top it, of my to shame. Keep it in the <laughs> After you did a moonlit sonata with yeah, your dad with, my, with, with the with, fucking gazebo. In the pool with the gazebo. <laughs> oh my God. It was a nightmare. I love it. But yeah, that was, that was what I wanted to say about weather. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Every time I think of weather, it actually, uh, like the word weather, mm-hmm. it reminds whether me you of like the, it or not. Yeah. The, well, it's the Welcome to Night Vale podcast. Hmm. That I still need to catch up on. I have a couple of their books, but like they do. The Is it still going? Mm-hmm. Oh, and they used to do a lot of live shows too. Yeah, but like um, the big thing is that like. Ever since, because in the first episode, I didn't understand what was happening, and then I realized, oh, this is just like that's the joke. Is that like okay? We did all these Absurdist. announcements. You know, now it's time for the weather, and then a song plays, and like later on, like a hundred episodes later or whatever, like as cause it, other people talk every once in a while, and like. Mm-hmm. It's like reported that like he just like like Cecil when the weather's playing he just stands there letting the music play the whole time like he's still alive not talking yeah. at all like and once the song's over he's like that was the weather you know like it like it's even recognized that like that's really that's weird, weird. Yeah, yeah like but that's what was, it's it's really cool good yeah. fun surreal shit but it's cool yeah okay so like. This might end up being, like, the you episode, which is fine. Okay. I also figured that we probably want to start question time probably at about 10, 15 minutes. We'll be a bit shorter of an episode we can listen to. But, like, because we are recording this at, like, 1030 at night. Yeah. um, Trying to get it out on time for you guys. So we might make it a little shorter. But, honestly, with this gazebo, it's already high quality. I'm already dead. I want to know about these fucking trains. This train right here? You can't come to the... I can't come over and you have props... And I go, what's with the train? You go, it's for the podcast. And I'm like, you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> well, it wasn't Bring exactly. Bring them in frame. It wasn't exactly intentionally. I guess in the order that you need to. the podcast. But um, it needs a little bit of prefacing. Okay. So, hello, dear listener. Um, 
I like my listener is five seven because it's <laughs> so <little> taller than me. <laughs> Can't be doing that. I got him. You're a I fucking got him. Okay, got him. Hello, listener. It's me. It's me. <laughs> um, Ellen. It's me, Judy. Who is it, Judy B? Judy, what was, what Judy was, B. Jones. No, is that was that who it is? Are you there, God? It's me, Judy. Yeah, yeah, I think it's so. you. Do you mean uh, the Madeline? Never mind. Yeah. What about the one with like the the elephants? It was drawn in like the same watercolor style. They had like a cartoon as well. There was like the elephants. I don't got. I, I got nothing. Fuck you. Did you ever watch Arthur? Yeah. Yeah. They had a gay mar- a gay marriage in that. Which, yeah. Well, they had a, a rat marriage. Man. With the two Weasley boys. <laughs> the one was a rat. And it showed. You got me. <laughs> okay. DW. Doesn't work. <laughs> this sign would stop me if I could read. <laughs> I could fucking read. God. Um, so I like mm-hmm. Lionel trains. Um, they're like toy trains. My dad collected them, has collected them, had them mm-hmm. as a kid. Mm-hmm. And he instilled that in me Mm -hmm. his progeny so um yeah i like twins um specific (coughs) bless you so like i have a lot of lionel trains Mm -hmm. i've seen the wall Uh uh-huh so there is a particular train from the post-war era of of lionel which war World War II. I was say the Great War. <clears throat> no, they didn't start until after World War One. So there's mm. pre-war, which was before World War One, where <laughs> before World, War, World II. War II, where most of the stuff is like tin plate. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there is after World War Two, where everything is die cast. Mm-hmm. And then there's like newer stuff. I'm as assuming well. that getting anything tin plate is expensive. It's expensive, and they're ugly. To the point where you almost, unless you're I a true diehard. Yeah. Like, like if someone gave you one, would you be like. I'd probably sell it. Uh, really? Yeah. I mean, how much would they go for? It would depend on the train. But like, especially the older ones, which are standard gauge. So this is O gauge. Standard gauge is like twice as big. Mm-hmm. Um, those go for like a lot of money. Oh, like someone would have to spend a shit ton of money. If they want like a full set. If yeah. they want to give you one. Mm-hmm. And but like it's and almost. I want it. You wouldn't want it. But it's almost like, oh, it's really cool. But it's like, you would just sell it. It's a cool part of history, but it's not a part of history that means anything to me. So I would want to sell. (laughs) Yeah, so I would want to sell it to someone who does want it. Mm -hmm. And could give you more money. And I get money. Which Uh, they could have just circumvented this, but they made someone else happy. Yeah. And you got to make someone else happy by selling someone's gift. True. So I like post-war stuff Mm -hmm. and modern stuff. Mm -hmm. So in the year 1957, Lionel was doing great. Mr. Lionel. Mr. Mr. Lionel Cohen. Um, that, that's the guy. Really? Yeah. He named it his first name? Yes. I mean, he's got a name like Lionel. Like, that's... Yeah. Like, at first I was like, what kind of fucking nerd is named Lionel? And I'm like, nobody's named Lionel. Yeah. Yeah. So, Lionel Trains was doing great. 1957, mm-hmm. everything's going good. They get the bright idea that they're like, hey, there are other markets that, like, I feel like we're not tapping into. Mm-hmm. They have, like, higher-end trains that, like, you know... Adult people, mostly men, are buying because, like, they... Need something to put in their basement. Well, they're, like, they're models of trains. So it's, like, you know, if you like trains, like, just having it on your shelf to look at. So they have, like, Mm -hmm. fancier ones that can fill that role. And then most of them, though, are as toys for kids. Like, Mm -hmm. kind of fancy toys. for good, spoiled kids. Yes. Not all of them. They had the Scout series, which was for the poor. (laughs) My first train was a scout. Which was just a rickshaw, but like, you know, the poor got to start It was an abacus on wheels. <laughs> well, it was an abacus. It didn't need to be on wheels because you just put it on its side and it and would wheel away. It. <laughs> right into the storm gutter and your mom goes, that was $250. In 1957, that was a lot More. of money. Yeah. Which you shouldn't be spending on your kid's fucking toy train near a storm no. gutter. Yeah. So 1957, great year. But they're thinking, uh, hey, well, okay. it was a great year for them. For trains. It was an okay year for them, actually. For Lionel Train specifically, yeah. it was an okay year. What, you got something bad about 1957? I'm just sure I could Speaking find truth. something. There's something bad about every year. Um, Except there is a year that is great that I want. Oh, no, something very bad happened that year. Was it the Kennedy assassination? 
know. I'm, I'm thinking. I'll get yeah. there. Okay. okay. Is kidding. this the gazebo? This is not, it's like the gazebo. Because my out. favorite year was 2021 when your gazebo went up and over. When your gazebo when, tried to run and you fucking gazebo suck. disappeared. You went and said, get back here. You're making me money. <laughs> 1957 is happening. The marketing department at Lionel is like, hey, there are other markets that we're not pursuing. We don't have a lot of, like, girls aren't buying toy trains. So we got to make girl trains. So we need to make a girl's train. <laughs> Somehow not putting together that, like, if a girl... Mm-hmm. likes trains then she probably just likes trains and so she likes that they look like real trains, trains. Mm-hmm. yeah she doesn't need a girl version of a train to like a train well i mean how else would a girl know to play with something if it wasn't for girls exactly so 1957 1957 Lion. I almost want to put like a like an old timey filter over this <laughs> this section, so like sepia with like yeah. a bouncy, like oh well, and then every time you go nineteen fifty seven, it's like in nineteen fifty seven, Lionel trains. <laughs> yeah, so so it's nineteen fifty seven, and they decide they're going to make the girls train, girl train, girl train. Come on now, girl train, let's go. So this mm-hmm. is a replica. Of, of the a girl's re- train. Of a real girl train? Yes. Was it a real train? No. So It's a replica, though. So in, they released them in 1957. Mm-hmm. They, it went disastrously bad. No one wanted these things. Did Lionel's daughter want one? No. <gasps> no one wanted these things. But she's the girl train. <laughs> no one wanted she's these the things. Girl. Like, they did not sell... Mm-hmm. Um, certain dealers and stuff would take them and literally paint, like spray paint them black... And try to pass them off as other trains to try and be able to sell them. Oh wow! No one wanted, wanted a pink train. No one wanted a fucking pink train, and like it was a disaster. So they're actually incredibly expensive now mm-hmm. because they barely made any, and the ones that they did make, like the people bought, they like fucked with and painted and stuff because like mm-hmm. no one wanted it the way it was. So it was this like dis- it's this like disastrous history mm-hmm. of a of a train. So in 1991. Lionel decided to the company, not the person. He was dead. Um, All right, in fifty-seven, not in fifty-seven. By ninety-one, oh. he was long gone. Um, so they're besmirching his good girl train idea. Yes. So like by nineteen ninety-one, like, girl trains. They decided that they were going to re-release like an anniversary edition, mm-hmm. an American girl train. Train. <laughs> <laughs> a a like you know. It's, Point mm-hmm. for point replica of the 1957 set. Okay. All the same cars, yeah. all the same everything, but made in 1991. Mm-hmm. Well, in a new shocking twist, People even in 1991, mm-hmm. no one wanted it. <laughs> Not even as like a collector's thing to reference the old ones. The only people who wanted it was as a collector to reference the old ones. Mm-hmm. Like no one wanted it as a toy. So like, because it doesn't look like a real train. No, I, you guys can't see it yet, but I can see it. Like it. it that looks like a toy. Yeah, I think it's time to show it. Yeah. So all of that Pull to out say, your big pink train for me. This is Daddy. a 1991 edition of the mm-hmm. girl's train. I do not have 1957 girl train money, <laughs> but I did have 1991 I can't girl's train that. money. So this is the girl's train. It's pink. Yes. It's a, you know, it's, it's a 264. Damn, you're fine. <laughs> yeah so it, it's, a, it's a 264 this is like a standard locomotive shell that they would mm-hmm. have but normally it's black and so like this is why like in the 50s they would take it and literally paint it black to try and sell it because like the train itself is fine it's yeah. a normal locomotive it's but it's just weird locomotive. that it's all pink like it's to the point where you can't like discern anything because even if it's black it's not all flat black one color yeah so it's you know it's a full locomotive it has it has its tender line everything. of lines and the font is blue. They can't see that. Yeah, I know. But the font is blue instead of white. Mm-hmm. And it's like it has a full set of girl, quote unquote, girl cars. Okay, but that teal one's kind of that, one that slaps. slaps. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. So this car. It doesn't look terrible with the pink. Yeah. But that's the boy one. They also made a boys train. They were going to make a boys train after they made the girls train. And they realized. Boys like, aren't supposed to make trains. Well, then they realized they're like, we've built the girls train on the premise that all trains are boys trains which is an inherently flawed premise but given that premise why would you then make a boys train so they've got that boxcar 
we've got this one. I had a joke, but I'll, it's I'll a little. It. It's not as nice. It's canary yellow, but, like, but I do gold. like the the accented doors. Yeah, but they like reflect each other. We have a lavender hopper, mm-hmm. which looks real. Well, and also Lehigh Valley. I'm pretty sure it's is a real in Utah, name. right? They may have operated in Utah because I know my friend Chase is from Lehigh. That's yeah. where they filmed Footloose. Oh. Yeah, so we've that's got, it. That's the only good thing there. So the other funny thing is that like they used like the nice cars for this. Like mm-hmm. they had like little box cars, like the cheapy ones for like scout mm-hmm. sets. These aren't the little ones. These are like the big, like legit ones. Same thing. With, like, these how, are O models. Yeah, these are O gauge. Same thing with like the lavender one. Like it's like this is big. Like you can see yeah. it. Yeah. You know? And then there's there's the gondola mm-hmm. with our containers. Of what what's in there? I mean, nothing's in there, but what's it say it's in there? Uh, it's an air-activated container. I think they would usually put liquid gas in it. Um, they would. Lionel's farts. <laughs> Lionel's farts. And then, and then the finale, the blue caboose. The Pennsylvania. I love this caboose. A meta, you'll love that one. This is for you, Meta. No, it's not. It's not. It's mine. Um, but it's in reference for you. But yeah, so, uh, so I bought myself a girl's train because I find the story of that very funny. And the idea... That like it was so bad they did it twice and it was still shit and it was and it was you know still bad. Is it I still like was that expensive? Yeah, for collectors. Yeah. Do you? I don't think you want to tell me how much money you spent. Because I, I bought like a sealed, unopened, the full set. Did you at least like video your unboxing? I did not. For I trade talk, I should have monetized. Well, and then I tried to put everything back in the box and I couldn't remember how everything went in, and so then I was like. I'll just look up an unboxing video and that'll show me how it was. No one had done an unboxing video and I was like, untapped, untapped market. market. <laughs> Jinx. Jinx. You owe me the earth defense system. Father, please. I don't have the passcodes anymore. I told you that. I, you do. <laughs> They're in your heart. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so that's the girl's train. Cool. It seems dumb because it's for girls. <laughs> I know, right? Fucking gross. Do you wash your hands from cooties? Ugh, I got cooties on my hands. Oh, so um, we may uh, edit this in, like, in the description down below, but mm-hmm. I believe I'm going to see if I can just do it online versus doing it, like, in person. But Your registration? I already did that. I got my tags. No, um, getting a P.O. box. Oh, work. Okay, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I can just get, like, the, whatever the smallest one is, mm-hmm. and then it'll be up near me yeah um so i should have that done tomorrow and then we'll go ahead and like if we have to after the fact edit the link down below but if you guys would like to you are more than welcome to send anything to us like pictures drawings uh, gifts or weird a ni- shit a 1991 like, girls train set yeah well, you know the, or 1957 if you're a, a real ps5 one. um an xbox series x geforce nvidia film. game GameCube 3080 T Bitcoin. Yeah. Um, One of those little like yeah. clip on but flip if, top screens yeah. for a GameCube. Mm-hmm. Perhaps. Well, that's cool. Yeah. For travel. Yeah. Well, I mean, just saying like people have asked about it before mm-hmm. and like also just some stuff. So like if, um, when we do that, um, I'll get that set up and cause it'll probably be like formally like under my name. So if there's anything that like you guys want us to open up like on the podcast or as part of the podcast, I don't know exactly how we'll do it. Then like you want to put it as like, the you know like hell yeah podcast but then if it's just to one of us then make sure that like you just put our name yeah so that like we don't open something that's just for eric or just for me like on stream because like those are my secrets right like we'll still do it but like it's i'd rather do like go do that like on my stream or something Mm -hmm. versus like you know something for us yeah but so i'll be doing that tomorrow because i remembered it now (laughs) Cool. And I uh, got a better understanding like that I didn't need to buy the one that's like $300 a year because yeah, uh, why do I need that? I'm like, no. Nope. Yeah. I don't expect to get any physical mail because any letters or anything, postcards, because that's something I want to do for my stream like in my back. I was like, I don't know what to put on my walls. I'm like, that would be cool if people like had sent me stuff that I can kind of have like whatever. Because mm-hmm. I had like an idea for Christmas. A collage. Yeah. Well, like I don't have any ornaments for a Christmas tree, uh-huh. and I'm by myself. It's just me. I don't right. have a Christmas. Tree. Well, I think Tyler's giving me a spare Christmas tree. She has like uh, eight of them. Yeah. Um, you know that track. Can't afford her rent, but you know she's got she's got eight Christmas trees. Sell the Christmas tree. <laughs> she can't. It's got lights. Monetize no, well, we got it. a nice one last year, and then she has her black one. She should just do a live stream that does not end. Mm-hmm. That's just like twenty four hour Christmas tree. Christmas tree cam. Mm-hmm. Just point a camera. 
Well, you know, she would like set up a Christmas camera. tree, but you like did. a Nokia flip phone. But you did it first. Yeah, because it was my fucking tree. You're right. That was. A I f- thought I was doing a favor. I didn't. I mean, genuinely thought I was doing a good thing. I didn't. I, did not I realize. didn't mean to start a storm in our home. <laughs> I did not realize I was. I was misstepping, and I did apologize. No. Yeah. Well, it was just one of those like just no one like communicated fully. Like I'm like, and I also told him like you can't talk to drunk Rick. Like he's not gonna remember. Yeah. I don't remember. I'm like you don't remember. And she's like. No. That's fair, but she hadn't. I hadn't broken her down to like be more of like a compassionate person yet. She was still raw. How's that coming? <laughs> she moved out. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so that'll be cool. So that'll be exciting. Yeah. Um, and we'll make like another segment that we'll probably do before quick wit wit, and then um, uh-uh. uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, um, I mean. Right, like 52 minutes. I think it's, I it was think good. I think it's yeah, because we're trying to keep it tight. Mm-hmm. All right. I have more, but I'll save it. So this way I actually have things to talk about. In the of course, of course. I talked a lot this time. You really did. It feels This weird. is Eric's episode. That could be the name, too. Eric's ass. I finally get an episode. <laughs> <laughs> and we just mute my, my audio. <laughs> but I, you can still see me yeah. saying stuff, but it's just quiet. That'd be a fun, like, bonus video. Is that, like, it's just with one of them. So it's just... Uh. Well, that's how we, like, since we're sending these to each other separately. Mm. We, edit as, we edit on the fly. This yeah. is a million little tiny files. All right. So we got, um, ready? Yeah. One, two. Question, question time, time. Question, question time. time. What is it? <laughs> All right. So uh, question time, question time. What is it? What is Brought it? to you by um, The Wind. Fuck your gazebo. Gazebo gone. Do you have a gazebo and need it removed? Call wind. Wind. (laughs) (laughs) Question time. Question time. All right. So um, if you would ever like any of your questions uh, answered, if you also want to ask something that's more like geared towards one person or the other, you're more than welcome to. We have a couple like that. So that was actually cool. If you want to ask a social security number, if you want to ask. 16 wacky digits on the front of your card. Uh, go ahead in the comment section down below and um, write any question you would like. And then um, if it's good enough, not repetitive or what have you, we'll go ahead and answer it on the podcast or over on my Discord uh, on the OD fans, which you can find via my Twitch channel, which is linked down below because we're not cluttering it with 85,000 links. links. All right. So um, Maria asked two questions. Mm. Question, question. Full, full up. What is it? What is it? Yeah. Quick, quit. She quit. got the quick, quit. Quick, quit. And we've got the wit. <laughs> You're right. Uh, if life were a video game, what would some of the cheat codes be? Unlimited money. Flying. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, make a tank. Make, make a tank. Oh, that's a good one. Um, like that Grand Theft Auto where it says, like, and then tank crashes down. Um, mine would be where you could feed your Pokemon, uh, like your buddy Pokemon. You could like pet them, and then uh, they like feel happier. Oh. And you just pet yourself. Yeah. That's not a cheat code. <laughs> That's just a cry for help. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, yeah. That's basically it. I mean, otherwise, like, what cheat codes aren't a thing anymore? Not really. No, it's unfortunate. I used to play this version of, uh, I believe it was a version of like Age of Empires, that sort mm-hmm. of game, you know, like an RTS, and it was Star Wars themed, mm-hmm. and I loved it. Pod like, racers. We always talk about <laughs> Star Wars somehow. I just, this is not a Star Wars podcast. It's not. And I, I just, don't like Star and Wars And I just have to much. reassert, I really don't care about Star mm-hmm. Wars very much, but I did love this game. Not because it was Star Wars. It was just a well-made well, RTS. Qui-Gon was in it, and he, had a, he got to see Liam Neeson's abs. Well, somebody should. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of the cheat codes was that even though this was like a land-based game primarily, you could create a Death Star, oh. and it would just slowly wipe you know, the map. It would just be like destroying But it was everything. really hard to build, I'm assuming. No, because you couldn't build it in the game. It was only a cheat code. You oh. typed in, that's no moon, and you'd get a Death Star. Oh, that's fucked up. And it was fucked up. But what you could also do was they hid a secret mini campaign mission in a different campaign mm-hmm. that you could only reach if you used the Death Star to like destroy some of like the forest. Because then you could like move a character over, and you could find like C-3PO and R2-D2, and it would start this little like, weird like hidden mini quest. It was actually oh, really that's cool. cool. A really cool Easter egg. And I found it like... 
organically like i found the mm. cheat code but i didn't know that that was a thing until like you could also do a cheat code because like, it wasn't on your game facts like yeah because yeah. you could also do a cheat code that would fully reveal the map oh so like i fully revealed the map and i was like oh what the fuck like why is c3po and like rtd2 over there but i couldn't get over to him so then i had to create a death star to like blow up the forest and i could oh, walk over otherwise there. you couldn't destroy terrain yeah and then like i was able to walk over there and i started this like weird little mini side quest and it was really cool that's cool yeah i mean you love to see that kind of shit yeah Stuff, I mean, the games still do that, but, like, the cheat code part of it isn't really... It's not really a thing anymore, no. which is a shame. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B-A, select, start, start. Uh, what sport would be the funniest to add a mandatory amount of alcohol to? NASCAR. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. In most sports, that would just get dangerous. Bowling. I mean... It kind of already is. It's a two-drink minimum well, for bowling, I yeah. feel like. Um, I don't know. Darts. Well, League of Legends, obviously, esports. Academic decathlon. It's I, a recognized sport. I'd love to see all these kids fucking drunk trying I to defend their shitty points. No one cares about... You don't have to defend your point. It's not speech class. Oh. No. I didn't do it. We have to do an interview. Mm-hmm. <laughs> defend your points in an interview? <laughs> defend you. Uh, me? Defend. A tag. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Because um, I feel like people hide their drinking in sports anyway. I feel like most of the players aren't drinking. No. But I mean, like... It's dangerous. Well, yeah, but like the... You know, you know where there should be mandatory drinking? The mm-hmm. Marble Olympics. Are you right. Did you ever watch those videos? They're fucking great. They're so good. I didn't think I'd like them, but like... They're start really getting good. Into them. I don't know. Like, that's the problem is that I'm like... I mean, that's the whole thing where it's like... I kind of want a separate Olympics where people that want to like roid up, like, fucking go. Let's see yeah, how like, far we can push, push the, the human body. Exactly. Like, yeah. let's go hard. I want no rules. The only rule... In a separate... Yeah. category though. Well, the only rule is that like no normies right if, if you ain't not, juice if you're not juiced, the juice is you're loose not, <laughs> if you ain't on the it. juice you're getting cut loose <laughs> oh my god okay uh the overlord that was, that was just the name they had asked if animals could talk which would be the rudest swans yeah they're swans nasty terrible mean animals but they pretend like they're not they're the mean girl yes they're like at least geese know they're cunts yeah like swans are very pretty and very mean. Yeah, swans are geese. A bird. I don't like birds. I don't like. Them I don't either. like animals. A hummingbird. I think hummingbirds would be nice. No, I think they're racist. I think they just don't have a brain. Oh, you true. Like I think like they like I think other birds might like have like a thought that mm-hmm. they could say out loud. A hummingbird would literally just be like, ah. it would go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it it shakes all. All the wrinkles out. Shake the brain so hard. Did you know? <laughs> I'm, I already don't want to know this, but yeah, go Did off. Did you King. know that a woodpecker's tongue wraps backwards and up over its brain and its skull? That's how long its tongue is. Its tongue ends like here and comes back around the brain and out the mouth. Because they use it like an anteater to suck up termites and stuff. And there's nowhere else for it to go. Also, it's forked almost all the way back. Don't do this to me. Uh huh. I'm not. I don't believe you. I refuse to believe. I will look this up later. No, I won't look it up later. I refuse to believe it. It is the truth. I can't. I know. Why would you do this to me? I had to. What's happening? Was the a... disease must be shared. It's because you. It's because you're fucking gazebo. You gotta take it out it's on me. Of my gazebo. It's because of in conceivable. It's conceivable all the way If down. I could have had a half inch of rain, <laughs> this wouldn't have had if to happen. If I would have came over and just... <laughs> this wouldn't have had to happen. <laughs> You're right. It's my fault. <laughs> Fucking prank. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I don't know. Aside from birds, like, what would be the rudest? Would be, like... Koalas. Yeah, they already are rude. They're pieces of shit animals that shouldn't exist. Also, I don't think rabbits would be nice. No. I don't think they'd necessarily be, like, super mean, but I really just don't think they'd match the vibe that people no. would be expecting. They'd be, like, your, like, strict religious types, but, like, not, like, fake. Like, just, like, no, I don't want to talk to you. Right. Like, you've been ostracized, we don't talk to you. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck, okay. Orthodox rabbits. <laughs> yeah. I love that Mario game. <laughs> Mario and Luigi Orthodox Rabbids. Mario and <laughs> Orthodox Rabbids Kingdom. <laughs> Rabbids Kingdom. Uh, Slow Sarah asked, would you rather be a jack of all trades or be a master of one specific thing? 
sort of in reference to the redacted universe, but you can apply it to whatever. Mm -hmm. God, I mean, that's like the eternal question. Do you want to be amazing, spectacular at one specific thing or decent at a lot? Yeah. I think that you have a lot more flexibility uh, as a jack of all trades. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of like, there's literally, that's a bard trait in D&D is like jack of all trades where you get half proficiency in everything. Yeah. I mean, well, it's like, because it's interesting because like in, you know, in the whole scope of my life, like, yeah, of course I'd want to be a jack of all trades because I don't need to be the best at that because I don't know that there's anything that I'm the best at as it is. So it's like, Zeevo retrieval. well, I'm fairly good at it, but like, you're way steep. Yeah, I, I am. It got, that water got high. Um, yeah, no, but like, I, I mean, like with most stuff, like you'd want to just, it would be better to be pretty good at everything yeah. than great at one thing. But there definitely is value in a work setting to mm -hmm. being the one person who is the best at something. That's true. Because that's job security, baby. Yeah. I mean, but, I, I mean, that's kind of, but yeah, I'd want to be Jack of all trades, I guess. Well, it's, I mean, on a side tangent, you know, it's the whole thing of like, um, because I finished Words of Radiance, the second book in Stormlight Archive, and there was something that was mentioned. A tangent is inherently to the side. Yeah. Because it's a tangent. It's tangential. Sokotoa. To the thing. Sokotoa these nuts. Uh, and like, Wit at one point, and I believe in the first book, talks about how like, you know, like it's only an amazing accomplishment if you're the first person to do something. Uh -huh. Even if you had no done it. No one remembers the second person. It, well, like if you had figured the... something out completely on your own, and as far as you knew, you were the first person to ever do this. And then you go, like, to take it out of that context, you go online, you post about it. It's like, oh, no. Like, everyone already knew. Like, yeah. someone already figured that out. They already knew that the woodpeckers but like, did that. Yeah. But, like, you, it, like, it means nothing because you weren't the first. Yeah. But, like, you know, you still figured it out. You did the same thing they did yeah. in, in the same isolated way. But other people already heard about it. So, like, yeah. And then if you try to tell people, someone will be like, well, this other person found it first. It's like, you're like a copycat. It's like, no. And that's fucked up. Is that how you feel about bats? Bats? Yeah. Because, like, birds figured out flying first. <laughs> and then, like, bats figured it out later in isolation. Yeah. But Well, because that's why second. bats, like, overcompensated with their whole, like, ah! But bats well, that's why they scream. But bats actually fly. Like... A lot of people, they're like, it's a flying squirrel. I'm like, it's a gliding squirrel, sis. Like, mm -hmm. let's not get it twisted. It hey, does sugar. Not, it does it's not a glider. fly. Mm -hmm. I like that. It doesn't fly. That's like I saw on your Discord. Like large something. like large shampoo bottles on your carry-on. Doesn't fly. It doesn't fly. On your Discord, when I had asked in a previous podcast the question, mm -hmm. do things with do non-insects with four legs and a set of wings exist? Mm -hmm. I saw that someone posted something about a lizard. Mm -hmm. That has like gliding wings. Yeah, but it's not. And I'm like, wings. that's not flying. Those wings can't fly. Oh, Those credits wings. don't transfer. <sighs> All it can do is glide, and that ain't flying. No, it's but well, it's fly. falling. It's with style, as Booz Lichier. A little finesse. Yeah. A little finesse. Uh, okay, you can start. It's at Kai's. I just realized I'm like I don't have to sit here and hold all of them. Hello, Kai. Kai asks, Eric. What trait or power from any of your characters would you want to have for yourself? Uh, the fact that some of them can live forever, probably. More time to because like listen to podcasts. More time to find some beans. <laughs> looking for beans. <laughs> I'm looking for the big bean. The beans. Um, Where is the bean? I'm. I, I, just, I don't want to find the first bean. I don't want to find the biggest bean or the smallest bean. I want to find the last bean. I want to live long enough because have the, last, the bean. last bean will be alive longer than any other bean, but it doesn't mean it was the last bean created. That's true. There will be one bean. The final and bean. And at, at that point when it's just, when the, the heat death of the universe is gone and it's just me and that and one that bean, bean, I can eat it because I don't like beans. I never said I didn't like bean. There you go. It's like how I secretly like ketchup. And it's like do, a, a, a decade long ruse. Yeah. It's not, but like I would totally pull that off if I could. God, I wish that had been. I wish that had been the lie. If that's if that's if there's anything you could like change throughout history About aside you. from seeing me shit myself, would also be making me, making making young me like ketchup. I'd go back in time to when you shit yourself, and I'd be like, I'm gonna 
tell everyone that you shit yourself unless you agree to something. I'm going to need you in a few years to start a ruse that mm -hmm. you don't like ketchup. And eventually, you're going to meet someone named Eric. And he's going to know you from the start as not liking ketchup. Mm -hmm. And then, 10 years in to your friendship. You just walk in. Drizzled walk in. over your fries like a nasty bitch. And you're just going, you're going nuts on Ham those fucking sandwich. <laughs> Did you say chips? Said you're chips. fucking nuts on those chips. You're fucking nuts on those chips. Yeah, yeah Lay's chips potato in it. chips <laughs> covered in ketchup. Oh. Drenched in it. You're going to make me puke. Uh, um, yeah, so in, immortality would be sick, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, honestly, the other one would probably be um, oh my God. in my universe, there's like stealths where um, they can they can phase cloak, which is where you can turn invisible and also you become intangible. Um, cause then like, you know, you, whenever I try to call you, yeah, it would be great to just disappear to just ghost and also steal theft. Yeah. Yeah. But you're tangible. You could, but you don't have to always be intangible. You can also just like, you go tangible up until you grab the money in the wallet and you go, <gasps> but go does in... it make things you touch intangible? That hasn't been established yet, but I'm thinking, but my what thought. What about your clothes? Well, Do they have thing. to get naked? No, I don't think so. So I think it's more of like you're projecting a very small field very close to yourself. Hmm. Yeah. So if you try to steal someone's wallet and they were sitting down, would they face to the chair and they get stuck and then like the chair would slice through them? Well, my thought is more of like, you know, phase through the wall into, you know, some kind of a vault and take money or something and then, you know, phase out or something. Theoretically. Yeah. Not real. Not real. I would. I would never thieve. I would not go to Jeff Bezos's. Yeah, I would not steal from the rich. His coin. <laughs> I would only steal from, <laughs> from the, the poor. poor, like real billionaires. <laughs> right. All right, Odie. Yeah, that's me. Hello. What stream would you say was your favorite if you had one? Oh, I've done so many streams, which is a kind of a Brag. weird thing. And well, well, like now that I like, because I read the question earlier when I was like copy pasting it in a mm -hmm. hurry, but like taking a second to be like oh i've done a lot of streams yeah um upwards of four a week yeah for what two months now yeah about that's a it's lot. typically always monday wednesday friday six that's that's, PST. that's about like 32 streams mm -hmm. and then every once in a while well every once in a while but more often than not there's at least one stream on the weekend because like i got nothing going on i don't know yeah. um our garfield stream was really fun that was a lot of fun um I, I think honestly, it's that it's that one stream that I had before we streamed together for the first mm -hmm. time, where I like hit my own little goal because it was like that was the stream where I was like, I think I could do something with this, and it like just like felt really good. Mm -hmm. And although I've had like I wouldn't say that was my best stream by any means, or like not the one I had the most fun with. Yeah. Or was that the question? Was the most fun or favorite? Favorite. Yeah. So if like you have one. I think that one is my favorite, at least as of right now. Um, maybe I should do more shit than it's like stand out. Noteworthy. Memorable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's not that it's just, it's, it's, you know, favorite is always subjective because it's like, well, what are your parameters? Favorite changes. Yeah. And like, it won't be my favorite forever, but like, it's definitely still because I, I, I would still consider myself like in like the, not like an in infancy, but I'm not like, I'm like a five year old right now. You're an early adopter. I'm an early adopter. <laughs> no, but like I'm still kind of like figuring shit out. You know, yeah. I'm nowhere near like established. Like you You're just hit a phase. year. I did just hit a year. And like I got two questions right on your first exam thing. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't know them, but like I got them right. And you some got people 10 got them of it right. And I was like, I'm better than everybody. And then I texted you. And then I didn't realize when I texted you that you had your phone on. I was over like, ding. And I see you open it and you just go put it back down. And I'm like, that's not, I wanted you to just look at your watch quickly because it did a. Yeah, I didn't have my watch on. And I just felt bad. Why? Because I didn't want to bother you. That's directly. what you felt bad about? Yeah. <laughs> you could have picked anything to feel bad about, and that's what you chose. I'm sorry, I'm not upset about your goddamn gazebo. <laughs> my gazebo was gone. <laughs> you little bitch. Me, me and the Claire's Pizza Guy <laughs> are hanging out, not giving a shit about your gazebo. All right. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's my favorite stream. Otherwise, it's the Garf Cart. Yeah, just because that, was, that was, was a lot of fun, chaos and fun. Yeah. Okay, Jesse Love ASMR asks: uh, Between the two of us, who is more introverted when it comes to social interactions? Me. You. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Um, work interactions? 
me. Yeah, that is true. You were much more. It's because you have that like air of confidence because you could, like know more than like you know what you're doing. Well, it's one of those things where it's like in a in a normal social situation. I don't have my degree, so it's imposter syndrome for me all the way down. In in a normal like social situation, I'm not going to benefit per se from, from being talking to outgoing them. or talking uh-huh. to other people. Like, what's the best thing that's going to happen? I'm going to make a friend. I have friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any more. Hey, I'm, what do you I'm like to old. do? I have enough. I'm good. I'm going to stop you right there. I'm, I'm just here for the to little to get my uh, ears pierced in this target. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking for friends. I'm not I'm looking for here. friends. I'm looking for a piercing. I'm, look, here I'm in looking this for target. a calzone and a stud. And a, and a couple of tent stakes from my fucking gazebo. You got here in right. this target mm-hmm. on this day. Um, it's like fucking smack the shit out of the yeah. goddamn thing. It's okay. We got a shock mount. Yeah, but no, no, no. But like there's, there's not... There's not like a directly tangible benefit to me being outgoing in a normal mm-hmm. so, social situation, but at work, the, climbing yeah. that ladder. So like, I will put it on because you know I wanna, I wanna advance. Yeah. So, I just a lot of times, especially like, which is to say, I'm fake and I lie. At work. Yeah. Well, like I have a problem because like, especially as like a side effect of my medication, a lot of times like I'm in my own little world, mm-hmm. and like where it's like, why do you always sign? I'm like. I'm not sighing because I'm exhausted or tired of you. I'm like, I quite literally, I have been clenching. Like, my entire body right, has been a, tense. This is an act of release. Like, if you were to touch me, I'd, like, I'd have to, like, do it because I don't realize I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. And, like, in meetings especially, like, I won't, like, someone will say something and, like, everyone laughs. And I'm like, I don't find it, f- like, I'm like, ha ah. Like, because, like, and it's late because I'm like, I didn't realize that was funny. And I'm like, it wasn't that good. Yeah. It could have been funny. You should just say that instead. Well, as everyone else is laughing, you just go, I don't think that was funny. I can't, I mean, now, now there's some good jokes. Because it's like with my team. Because mm-hmm. like, it's guys being dudes. Just guys being And like, dudes. always looking to bust some balls. Yeah. Like, uh, I forget, there was a joke we made earlier that was fucking gold, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. I mean, professionally, it's, it's error, it's me. But socially, it's Eric. Yeah. Um, all right. Parker Dude asks, are you two sitting at the same table looking at each other? No. No. <laughs> Let me make sure I got you like back in frame the right way. There we go. It probably shifted a little bit. But probably. Fuck. It's fine. Yeah. No, we're at the same table. Yeah. We're at my table. Okay. I only I left it there just because I loved it. Yeah. Do you want? Yeah, yeah I'll, sure. I'll do, I'll do the last one. Yeah. Okay. And then the next one's a oh, Discord fall questions. on your sword. Fall on your sword and take the last one. How I just kind? think that we should like you know keep things. How deep is this sacrifice, you fucking bitch? My gazebo was gone. God, nobody cares about gazebo, Kate. It's back, but it was gone. It's gone with the wind. It's gone with the wind. Um, Megan MC. As, as your gazebo lifted up, we saw the title sequence and all the credits. <laughs> <laughs> right, right over the lattice work. God. <laughs> Megan MCG asks, mm-hmm. um, "What was one of your worst?" And this is when he knew he fucked up. Moments. Oh. oh. I mean, when I spilled coffee on my fucking keyboard. That'll do it. Yeah. I'm trying to think. So I've already told the story on like a stream or something so like i won't go into it but if any of you remember the story i told about when i like trampled my mom's flowers without thinking that that was a problem mm -hmm. that was one of those moments but another one that i did was (laughs) and i don't know why i did this you know when you're a kid and you're just trying to come up with shit like Mm -hmm. it's you know it's the summer you're bored it's hot you don't know what to do and like you know your parents are like go go play outside you go over to that nice gentleman's house with the sprinkler Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah just on the and he had (laughs) no (laughs) for my (laughs) Um, no, so I, I had a friend named, well, okay. You had a friend. Uh, it was forced upon me. I was forced out. What were you friend. benefiting from this? Nothing. Did he have Bakugo? Bakugo. Bakugan, sorry. What's that? It's like a toy that you Bay like. Blade? It's a ball and you roll it and it goes. <laughs> it's like a little like. Read the fucking, answer the fucking question. Um, Okay. So uh, I had a friend who his this guy name. Know about Bakuga. I don't know about <clears throat> ba- uh, Baku No Hero Aka. 
Dim in these Dim nuts. In these <laughs> Dim in these um, I have Boku no Hero Academia. I'm so sorry. Usually that only affects people over 65, but that's yeah. such a shame. It means I like the one with like the, the, the dumb one that wears underpants and has the balls on his head. Captain Underpants? Yeah. Dave Pilkey's Captain Underpants is who <laughs> is my favorite hero in My Hero Academia. <laughs> you didn't think I knew the fucking author's name, did you? You were ready for that. No. Did you read those books? Yeah, I loved Captain Underpants. You would. Yeah. That tracks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never read them. That tracks. Yep. I could tell. You lost your gazebo. I lost my gazebo. It's back. I'd like to finish my story. Did you Did you beep beep on your gazebo? Locked it down. Um, Just put it on a chain so it can run around the yard. Yeah. So I had a friend who, his name was Nico. I was under the... Yeah, yeah. Nico, 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 Nia. Yeah. I was under the impression that his name was Nikos. Oh, not like Nico Robin from yeah. One Piece. Yeah, no, his name is Nico. Mm -hmm. I believed with my whole heart that his name was Mikos. Mm -hmm. And I called him Mikos every time we hung out, which was often, because he like lived on the road. And this was, you know, like back in the day when you just mm -hmm. like... You the streetlights were, were, weren't on yet, so you were allowed to hang out outside. Yeah, literally. And so like, and he never corrected me, not once. Mm -hmm. He just let me call him Mikos. But that's tangential to the story, that's... which means to the side. Yeah. So Kato with these nuts. <laughs> For some reason, we were bored. It was the summer. And my we, we at, at that house at the time, we didn't have a garage, but we had a carport. And my dad, next to the carport, mm -hmm. he wanted to have like more like covered parking because he was working on, I think, um, one of the, I think he was working on the 442 or something. And so he just needed it covered for a the while. The Girls Lionel train. The 1957 <laughs> Girls Locomotive. Um, Lady Lionel. It drives him crazy. That's its original name. Um, <laughs> so like he had stretched like a tarp over. Well, it's it's more of a cloth. <laughs> he had stretched a tarp okay. um, over this like section of like the little like driveway. Mm -hmm. We had the driveway that went under the carport and then there was like a little like rock mm -hmm. one next to it. So he had stretched a tarp over that. And we were bored. So one of us, I don't know which one, came up with the idea that we should take every pair of my dad's socks and fill them with rocks and tie them off and throw them on top of the tarp. <laughs> so I went into my, into my parents' house. And I grabbed every single pair of my dad's socks out of, like, the drawer. Because he usually wear, like, tube socks. So plenty of room to tie it off. Well, and lots of socks. Yeah, lot, plenty of socks. And we just started grabbing rocks it's from my driveway. My socks. <laughs> and filling the socks up with rocks. And then tying them off, like, mm -hmm. double knotting these mm -hmm. socks. And then we would just, like, <laughs> throw them to see, mm -hmm. like... Like who, a bolo. Yes, to see who could get them on the tarp, who could get them on the roof. We just wanted to throw... Socks filled with rocks. Yeah. Not at cars. No. Onto, yeah. you know, roofs. Our own. Mm -hmm. My own. He, he goes, that was down the street. Mm -hmm. was it would be really, like, you, you'd be, like, scouted if you guys could. If we were chucking them, chucking them down to exactly. his roof. Maybe things would have ended a little differently. I mean, that's gazebo level strength. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So, basically, we have, at this point, almost thrown every single one of my dad's socks up there. Mm-hmm. I literally all filled have, with rocks. All filled with rocks and tied into knots. I literally only have one left. And Nico's, Nico has one left. And my dad rounds the corner in his van coming home from a long day at work <laughs> and can see that, like, I, we're holding, like, his socks with rocks in them. And, that, and they're tied off. And that they're tied off. And that the entire tarp is covered with all the rest of his Because he socks. can see him because like he's not because he's like three feet tall. Yeah, because he's like at the angle. Yeah. And um I see my dad driving up and that was the moment when I realized, oh I shouldn't have done this. Oopsie whoopsie. I made a fucky I made a fucky wucky. So at that point I dropped the sock and ran in the house and locked the door and left Nico out there. To, to face your father's wrath. To face wrath. my father, who was not that mad. He was mostly just very confused and then was like, you just you, you just left your friend out there? Like like that was the real crime? Yeah, he was, was like, like, he was like when, the, when the chips were down, you just like... Bailed? You just left your friend Which out there. Which I'm like, there. that's very on brand for you. And I was like, yes, I did, father. <laughs> it's like, good, save your own skin, son. Exactly. I gave you an otter pop and, and let you said, go. he said, you will survive natural selection. <laughs> 
our bloodline will continue to survive the winter. Exactly. Mikos will not. And you go, his name Miko, and you're like, no, no, it's not. His name was Mikos. But yeah, um, that was my, and this is when he knew he fucked up moment. Yeah. That was good. Thank you. I'm trying to think for me. Because your story was like really good. This is this is the Eric episode. This is the Eric episode. This is the Eric Andre episode. <laughs> Hello. Um, God, I'm trying to think like more recently, like when I'm like, oh no, oh no, 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 because I like, oh no. Well, I block out a lot of things oh, no. from my childhood because like oh, the no, oh no, no, I fucked up. No. <sighs> this one's good, but okay. a, a little bit of a of a trigger warning for anybody for like verbal abuse. Okay. So when <clears throat> this is really fucked up, but like somewhat funny, but not funny. Okay. So, um, I, my parents are divorced. And so I was supposed to go see my dad for the summer and we actually, we we're going to go see my sister and I were going to go visit my dad. Um, and we we're going to go to California with um, his girlfriend and his girlfriend's family to go to Disneyland. And we were all super excited for it. And um, my mom was uh, engaged to this guy and um, named Jerry, because I don't give a fuck. Um, fuck him. Yeah. And uh, I mean, lots of good, but also a lot of bad. So, you know, it's, it's a wash. Not everyone's perfect, but also like some people need to atone. <clears throat> uh, and I mean, he never hit us, but it, it's aside the point. Um, basically, um, he was one of those guys where like, like, Cause he, him and my mom never slept in the same bed after like the first year they were together. He just slept on the couch and it was the whole thing. Like I'd wake up in the morning for school and I had to be really quiet. Cause if I woke him up, he'd yell at me to do chores where you go and then like back to sleep. And it's like, yeah. oh, man, so it's like very quiet and like probably also why like I get really weird about like a lot of shit and like, I don't like being late, but then I'm also always late is like, cause of him. Like yeah. I, I fucking hate it anyway. So we 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 had dinner one night and my mom was working like she always was because she was lied to and um we it was like spaghetti or something but like i don't like tomatoes yeah and so jerry was like busy it was like <clears throat> jerry was like busy with something he was in his office which you know had like all of his debts and stuff that like he liked to keep hidden <laughs> because he kept he would go check the mail he didn't like when other people checked the mail yeah you know um and so i when he wasn't wasn't around, I was like, I didn't want to eat these fucking tomatoes. So I scraped off my tomatoes into the trash, and the trash was pretty full, so oh, I just went yeah. and, and threw out the trash. And my sister also decided to do it, because I was like, yeah, I was like, if you don't want to eat your tomatoes, like, just toss them. Yeah. And um, I went to go throw out the trash. As I closed the lid, I opened the door, and I, uh, I, I walked back through the garage, which I don't really remember now at this point, what it looks like. Yeah. It's been a while. Um, and I like walk into the kitchen and Jerry's just there and he's like, what were you doing? I was like, Oh, I just took out the trash cause it was full was like, in the middle of dinner. I was like, well, it was full. He's like, okay. And, um, my sister's just like, and, uh, he then just like goes and walks off towards the bedroom and I hear the door to the garage close. It wasn't at this moment that I knew I fucked up. Uh-huh. It was about five, ten minutes later. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting, 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 waiting. waiting, waiting. And uh This isn't as funny as yours was, but like was say, you could feel going, the tension, it's going right? It's dark, it's getting tense. And like oh man. Okay, the uh, to lighten it for just a moment, while still also very fucked up, but just the mental image in my head is also hysterical. Uh -huh. My sister one time like didn't want to eat fish sticks because she didn't like fish sticks. She thought they were gross. Uh -huh. And Jerry was like, "No, you need to eat them." And my sister tried to hide the fish sticks by like putting them like in her pants. And Jerry was like, like made her do jumping jacks until they fell out. The fish sticks yeah, and like she was crying. It was very like traumatic for her, and she's not very happy about it. But the visual of her doing <laughs> jumping jacks That's and fish sticks falling out is fucking hysterical. If the context wasn't so like fucked up, Dark, it'd be yeah. really fucking funny. But like, it was it was to me. Yeah, because it wasn't me. Right. Uh, anyway, back to the sad story. Uh, so I hear the garage door like Doof. it was at that moment. I that knew I fucked knew. up. Yeah. And he goes, he, he comes around the corner with the bag of trash. He's like, what's this? And I was like, 
Uh, it's just trash. Because at that point, I'm like, I got to hold strong. My sister, the little rat she is, sold me down there. She goes, fish stick rat. I threw my <laughs> fish stick rat. Uh, she, she's like, I threw away my tomatoes. And he's like, why? And she's like, well, Steven did. And I was like, I was like, I get it. I, I, yeah. I was like, I'm like, I hate yeah. you, but like, I get it. And she was like, why'd you do this? And I'm like, I, I don't like tomatoes. And, and it wasn't even like a whole lot. Like, it's like if you made spaghetti and like there's tomatoes in the sauce, yeah. you just like, like I do that. I literally did that today where I'm like, yeah. I don't like, I don't want to eat a chunk of tomato. Yeah. Like, I don't want to eat tomato in general. I want to eat a very small, tiny amount that I don't even realize I'm eating. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Uh, and ultimately made my sister and I write a letter to my dad explaining why we didn't deserve to go to Disneyland, which we then had to give to my dad when we got off the plane. My dad was so vehemently pissed that like he was so excited because like we're going to fucking Disneyland and it's like with his girlfriend's family. They were all like my Brazilian family that like, Mm -hmm. like we're like, Oh yeah, no, we're feeding 20 people and we're spending $500 on lunch to get pizza. But like everyone you're getting merch, you're getting whatever the fuck you want. Like you go off, you are being spoiled. It's it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And it was a really fun trip, but we were like, always like there was like a rain cloud over our head at all times yeah. anytime we were left alone for too long it was just like we're gonna be in so much trouble when we get back because it was like the day before we were supposed to go yeah. and my dad was like i kept those that letter for, like those letters for years because it was just like and i'm like i don't think about it and like i kind of blocked it out yeah and then like a few years ago my dad mentioned it and i was like holy fuck you're right because yeah. like i honestly have just kind of blocked a lot of that out of my memory because i just don't think about it yeah but every, every once in a while i'll stop and think about some shit and i'm like that was some really fucked up shit. Yeah. Anyway, I don't like tomatoes. <laughs> All right, from the Discord. <laughs> Next question. Oh, great. Uh, Chewy asked, if you guys play Magic the Gathering, what is your favorite land? I do play Magic the Gathering. I have once, but I don't. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I liked the mountain. Mm-hmm, that's red. Mm-hmm, red yeah. mana, mountains. Yeah, yeah I um, like mountain. I have a fake um as in like it was just like good counterfeit but it's because like the card itself is like 500 bucks and i'm not gonna pay for it or it's like i don't know expensive but I, like i love a volcanic island which i'll show you later it looks really cool mm-hmm. um it's like from like alpha beta set like the original sets yeah. and so it's like a mountain and an island and it taps for a mountain or an island but it's like a, a mountain island is in the name and it's there's no caveat to it which makes it super powerful in mm-hmm. commander which is what i play got it uh favorite card to use um, which you don't play, so uh, I I had a thing that flew. Mm-hmm. I have a. I um, think it was blue. I had a. Um, God, I forget I the name. Pretty well. I don't know. I can't remember the name. It's the ninja deck. I forget her name, but I had a really good ninja deck, and then I let my friend use it because he was playing like more competitively, and he Yuriko. Mm-hmm. Where she was a cool commander card where like she had commander ninjutsu. So normally you, if it costs four mana to play the card, you don't keep her in your hand. You keep it off to the side in the command zone and you can cast your commander for its cost. Mm-hmm. Um, and it goes there. And then when it dies or gets removed, if it goes to exile, goes to the graveyard, whatever, you can choose to have it go there or go back to your command zone. If it goes back to your command zone, it now costs two colorless more to cast it again. But yeah. you get to cast it again because Commander is basically singleton. So you're only allowed to have one of everything except for basic lands. Okay. Um, so it's a lot. you want to find a lot of cards that do the same things for, for all that. She specifically has Commander Ninjutsu where if you um, are attacking with a creature and it's unblocked so you don't declare any blockers, I can pay instead regardless of how many times she's been like, and she's technically never been cast, is... Um, a black and a blue. And what you do is, is you swap and then she hits. And then her whole thing is that like whenever a ninja deals damage to a player, um, like uh, reveal um, like any, like whenever a ninja, so if you have four ninjas and they all hit, you draw four cards, you reveal them. And however much the, the mana cost is mm-hmm. everyone at the table, except you takes that much damage. Yeah. So you could like, especially if you have like your cards, right. And if you manipulate it with like a sensei's defending top or something, you literally could deal like, 15 20 damage and just wipe out two people immediately well not immediately nice. but like in a in a setting if you yeah. got it set up and it's all about like it's full of like these little needles so it's like one drop two drops that are just unblockable one one so it's like they don't need to be good and then i have all the ninjas yeah so that's cool. uh that's that 
Freaking nerd. <sighs> yeah, freaking nerd. Okay. Artem asked, how have you all been dealing with the heat, if you have been at all? You stay inside. I've been getting mad about the lack of rain, Artem. Yeah, same. That's what I've been doing. Uh, yeah, no, mostly just staying inside. You tried to stay out. Like, even just, like, going out to take Sounds the trash. Great. Or, like, I went and walked to go get my mail, and I'm like, fuck, dude. I should have just, like, gotten this on my way back in driving. Like, yeah. But in and out superior. Why or why not? Please just fire answers. There's not a lot of context. Their burgers are superior compared to most other fast food chains, like fast food drive through chains in the U.S., or at least in the West Coast. But their fries are not superior, and that's why overall they are not superior. They are novelty. They are absolutely worth getting if you come to the West Coast and you've never had them. They are very good, but their fries make them lose points. Yeah, it's fine. I don't find it superior in almost any way. I think they have good burgers. I don't think they have the best burgers, and I think their fries are gross. But they're consistent. They are consistent. That is something you have to appreciate. I do appreciate that. It is a consistent place, but it's just fine for me. It's not a great, it's not amazing. Right. Macaron. Uh, macaron. Uh, macaron asks, is lasagna a casserole? Maybe. Yeah. Sure, why not? Sure. Go off. My mom would hit me, but yeah. You know what? I'm fine with it. It's 2021. It can be whatever it wants. Yeah. Why have we got to put labels on it? Once you chew enough that? food, it's, isn't everything a casserole? And a soup. I would think more of a soup. Yeah. Because I don't think you're baking things in your mouth. Hey. Not since the accident. Well, I'm baked, so. <laughs> what about these baked lays? <laughs> uh, also, what fast food place has the best fries? McDonald's. I think it's got to be McDonald's. Yeah, unfortunately. I, think it's be I don't want to give it to them, but everyone else pales in comparison. Yeah. McDonald's just has it right. And they're that's truly what get, puts them ahead. They're just always good. Mm-hmm. I had Wendy's recently because it's somewhat near your house mm-hmm. and i was like i don't like Wendy's fries These even fries if, even good. if they're hot they're bad they're not good also i know you don't care for ketchup but i find their ketchup particularly upsetting i every time i go back to a wendy's it's like i'm like oh the burgers aren't bad and i'm like the burger's okay the burger's okay and then the fries aren't good and the ketchup is bad and it's like and it's and it's one of those fucking we used to do that every time we go to work yes we'd, we'd go we should get wendy's they haven't had wendy's and we get wendy's, we'd go to and we're wendy's disappointed. Like, this is yeah and they do that stupid the soda thing mm-hmm. the, oh yeah the, the freestyle machine yeah that i would then it's go gross and i'd put it into the fucking thing yes, yes. where it's gross anyway okay indigo ice e, ice or i yeah, i think it's two i think it's indigo dan i see indigo indy but there's it's I see I see I mean that's just the name the of the Discord. <laughs> What's the latest earworm for each of you? I had to ask Eric what this meant. Yeah. Um I mean, aside from WAP by or WAP, I don't know, WAP yeah. by Zane. Oh. The one where it's I'll show it to you later. Because okay. like, it'll get stuck in your head. It's good. Yeah. It's like a like a more moving one. Mm-hmm. Um, moving. You'll see what I mean. Aside from that, honestly, um, Alex Melton, he's on YouTube and like Spotify and all that shit. Mm-hmm. He did a cover. Of, it's the Bare, uh, Bare Naked Ladies um, one week song, but uh-huh. in the style of um, Blink-182. Okay. And like, it's a fucking banger. Yeah. It's a top tier banger. It's amazing. To the point where like, you listen to the original, which one, why would you? But you would go, why did they cover this? Or like, yeah. why, did, why are they covering Alex Melton's version of this? Um, for me, I mean, recently it, it, it has been. I still love that song. That came out the other day, and I'm like, this is Eric's song. That song is so good. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. If you all have not heard the song Vicodin by Bear, 10 out of 10. Um, but no, the, the one lately, other than Bezos... Mm-hmm. Um, on Bezos. loop, which should not even really count because it's 59 seconds long. Mm-hmm. Um, a song is a song. Last night, while I was doing some scripting, I ended up turning my phone on to the, you know, like the, the pop on the rise or whatever, like the one where it's like stuff that hasn't hit top 40 yet, but they think is going to, and it almost never does. No. But yeah, but like that Google Play playlist. Oh. And the first song that came on. Well, YouTube music because Google Play's dead. Yeah. The, RIP. the first song that came on is called Open Your Mouth by Chelsea Collins. I was going to say Chelsea Quinn. No, by, I think it's Chelsea Collins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you said that. Yeah. Are you proud of that? Kind of. <laughs> 
was a lot more clever than I meant it to be. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, no, so like that song came on. I was like, this is a pretty good song. Mm-hmm. And then like the other songs came on. I was like, oh, I don't like any of these songs. That was like when Taylor and I listened to a playlist once where the first song yes. was a banger and then it was the Dynamite song and then everything yes. else was shit afterwards. It was very much that. And so then I went back to that song and I listened to it one more time and I was like, I've decided that I love this song. And then I put it on repeat and listened to it the entire time I finished that script all night and I was listening to it all morning. I can't Ooh. stop listening to it because that's what we do. Yeah. I burn the song into my brain and then I mean, out of it. You know which one hasn't truly died for me though? Every once in a while I'll pop it back on. Jump up superstar. Uh, no. Someday. Join us for a bite. Yeah. Because like I listen it's to the that only one that doesn't well. get old. Like it, it just it hits different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um they also ask, one time, Eric listed his runner's lunge as a hidden talent, which I am very talented at, um, with Odie's new running habit, and assuming he stretches afterwards. Do you stretch afterwards? No. Oh, you should. Why would I stretch? Because it's I good can re- I put everything on a level that I can reach. But it's good for your muscles. No, I, when I get done running, I go and I you take a warm shower, a and bath. then, well, I get, take a warm shower, and then I... Like wash my hair, and then I make sure my body's still warm so that my pores are open. Uh-huh. And then I step out, like step away from the water, and I like soap up. And uh-huh. then I go and I crank that fucker to cold so that my pores will clo- like close. And I immediately and put my back into the shower so that like my back has to adjust to the cold because it turns out my back is what fucks me up in terms of like the temperature change. Okay. So if I just make sure my back gets cold first, uh-huh. then like everything else will be fine. Okay. And Zuki watches me. So no, I don't stretch. So you don't. Okay, got it. <laughs> uh, so the question was, um, assuming I hate lunges. Assuming that you stretch, which we've learned that you don't. Um, how close <laughs> well, are? Way to load this fucking question. How close are you to achieving that legendary depth of lunge? So I'm gonna go ahead and say, not. Well, I haven't. I haven't get. I haven't given a man's kiss to the ground yet. Okay. Not you know sack sack the floor. I yeah. haven't been able to do that yet. I used to be able to do the splits mm-hmm. when I was uh, a gymnast. When I was, you know, when I was nine, I could do it. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Or ten. Yeah. It's fine. Mm-hmm. You were probably eleven because of your mother's lie. The big lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Meta age game. Well, Meta asks your mom. Your mom's been gating your age. Lying. King of Garden. Meta asks, how did y'all name your pets? Like, Odie, why did you choose Zuko? And Eric, why did you choose Duncan? Would you, would you like to go first? Would sure. Go? Uh, we uh, we had been watching Avatar Lost Airbender, and I'd always kind of wanted to name the cat Zuko. Um, I actually mm-hmm. originally wanted to name him Pismo, as in P-S-M-O in all caps, because it's a thing in the beef world, because it's like you would buy like a beef Pismo, which is a peeled skin muscle off. And that like his name, his real name is peeled skin, peeled skin muscle, muscle off. off. We call him Pismo. Cause it also kind of sounds like gizmo, which is really cute. Yeah. And Tyler didn't really like it. I named gizmo. Tyler really wanted to. That's cool. Yeah. Yukon ate it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, Tyler didn't like Tyler was like, well, I, I like Zuko more. And I was like, we might work things out. And well, no, because we hadn't broken up yet at that point. So, yeah. You know, I still, I was still under the assumption that things were fine. Yeah. It was at this moment he didn't know he fucked up. Yeah. Well, I didn't. If fuck we up. refer back to the question, and this is when he knew. He fucked yeah. Up. <laughs> no, but yeah. So that was what I really wanted to. But Tyler kind of like pushed back a little bit, and I was like, okay, well, I'm like, well, Zuko is better because then now he's like Zuki Tanuki, and I couldn't name with the three month sub. Now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Zuki um, Tanuki with a ten dollar donation saying meow. So. <laughs> When I was, I found Duncan on Craigslist um, for free because no one wanted him. <laughs> In and the classifieds. That, and that should have been the first sign. In the mail for mail. Of things to looking, come. He's just looking for someone he's to leash him. Someone. <laughs> yeah, that should have been my first indication of the troubles that were brewing <laughs> under the surface. He's all muscle. All muscle as a... The August. muscle is not correctly placed. No. Um, so we were driving home. Was it in the car that had the hole cut in for the shift gears? <laughs> that car was gone before I was born. <laughs> that is no. my favorite story your dad tells. <laughs> I, I 
piss myself and I know what's coming. It is truly incandescent. It is a very good story. I love it. Um, no, I was driving home and we drove past the Dunkin' Donuts. And you didn't even spell it the same way. No, but I spelled it well. You spelled the slightly deeper reference too is that so like I was driving home, saw Dunkin' Donuts, and I and it reminded me of when I was a, when I was a child. Um, in addition to liking Lionel trains, I also liked Thomas the Tank Engine. I had a theme. I liked trains. You um, liked that people would be hiding in hiding the in the, the locomotive. That's a Dark Souls boss. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, there is a locomotive. Uh, on Thomas the Tank Engine named Duncan. Mm, so it was um, a nice little like so wham wham. It was like a little tie in. So that was where he got the name Duncan. Hmm, cool. Yeah. He was cute back then. Yeah. I don't know what happened. He looks like he's on steroids. He could be taking little puppy steroids. He looks like he's on metabolic steroids. He looks like he has a duffel bag that he's a little too protective of. That like, do not touch it. Do not wash out. my gym clothes. Why when did you wash out. my gym clothes? When he's out on the gym floor, you do not touch that bag. No. And he's wearing like big beats. Yep. And like, but and they're always around his neck. Yeah, but you can hear the music, and it's very like misogynistic, aggressive. Rock. Yeah, like <laughs> borderline concerning. And like, you haven't seen his partner in a while. Yeah. And there's like a gazebo at his desk. It's gone. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> All right. Question two. The final question of this page. Of Meta's. Mm. Um, Finally, Meta. Fuck. Do y'all ever have dreams? <laughs> Why did you have to be a dick about it? <laughs> you all ever have dream? It just makes have you ever had a dream? Have you ever had a dream that he could do <laughs> That kid kidding. has never been found. They can't. I was watching a whole Wavy Webster video about it. Really? Like, he has not come forward. Oh. And claimed to stardom. And it was part of, like, this, like, reading, be- like, kids reading their own, like, bedtime story things. Like, okay. on this weird, like, Canadian show or whatever. Yeah. And, like, and it was the only is- kid that... Well, it was the, he was like the only kid in the episode that like wasn't credited because it was like after something. It was like after the credits or whatever. Yeah. And they just like left that in there. He's like, well, you could have it happen. He could do you so much. You could do, do anything. anything. <laughs> Which yeah. is big me energy. I love it. Yeah. Uh, no, I said it in that voice because all I can think of for whatever reason when I read the word y'all at this point is that thing of Dr. Phil where he's like, y'all on TikTok calling <laughs> me daddy. <laughs> Like a snoot full of honeybees. <laughs> I always think oh of the one, God. the one vine where it's like Tucker Phil like comes out and the girl's like, yes, yes. yes. I love that one. <laughs> My God. Or just the thing where he's um, where, that, the, qu- the thing. That, that quote that people will take where he's like, you know, like give me three hundred. Like <laughs> I hate you. You're garbage. <laughs> give me three hundred dollars. I'll kill you. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, Dr. Phil's not a real doctor. Do y'all ever have dreams about the Discord servers slash members slash streams? And for Eric, do I ever have dreams about my characters? Take it away, Odie. Uh, not necessarily. Yeah, my answer's no. Sorry. I've mm. never, I, yeah, no, never had, I never no. really, I have really weird dreams, but. That's not really ever been. No, the, I held hands with Dream once, but them. no, not related to the server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never had a dream about my characters. I've never had a dream. <laughs> it was a dream that could yeah. be so. Good I personally, though, have dreamt of Eric's characters before he's written them. That's where I got the ideas. I tapped into a dream. <laughs> it's a dark place, <laughs> full of. There's no gazebo. It's no gazebo <laughs> in sight. How can anyone live like this? How can live like this? You don't keep a small gazebo in your pocket, do you? Well. Pocket zebo. <laughs> I loved that villain in Marvel. Zebo. Oh. Uh, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Uh, Parky said, Odie, redacted can answer too. What's a game you don't want to stream but enjoy playing? Ooh. No, I fucking hate Slam Rancher. I watched you play that. It was boring. It was so boring. Oh, my God. Um, I mean, a lot of games that I've just already played, like, I've kind of realized that when I'm streaming something, it's better for me to stream something that, like, I'm just experiencing for the first time as opposed mm-hmm. to I, I, I've played it-ish before or, like, I, I, I've played it enough. Unless it's a game, like, I really love it. I played, I be, I played through the entirety of Control on, like, a Sunday. 
mm-hmm. um, a couple of weeks ago, and like that was fun for me because I was like, I just want to like replay through it, and like I had cheat codes on because I didn't realize like the god mode and one hit kill. I thought I was just like really because I really was good, good with my headshots, and then I realized okay, like I just killed a boss that's normally like a whole fight in one shot. I'm like, am I using a damage mod or something? And then I like remembered and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, honestly, like. <clears throat> In terms of like games I really like to play, I mean, most stuff I'll just play on stream if I really want to, but um, there isn't anything I can think of off the top of my head that I would like not want to play on stream. It's just really hard for me to know what to talk about when like I've already played the game before, so it's right. like I'm not exploring it in the same way. Yeah. I don't know. What about you? I absolutely love Dragon Age Inquisition, but that's the game. I, I tried it, playing it once, no. but I played it exactly the way that I wanted to play it the first time I played it, and I don't ever want to play it again because, mm-hmm. like, I did it. I did it exactly how I wanted but to. But I would and argue I that this is like a game you still enjoy playing. You just don't want to stream it. I guess. Um, I don't think I have Prey. To. Maybe. Maybe, but maybe. I would stream Prey, Prey because would be I would fun. play Prey again. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd even play Moon Crash again. Like, yeah. that would be fun. Yeah, so I I don't really... I don't think I have a great answer. Bioshock Infinite is another Pokemon one. Pokemon like, Snap. Yeah. Well, yeah, I never really just too play slow. it. It's just way too slow for me for stream. Like, it you didn't keep that my Pokemon own Quest game? I fucking you loved beat it. that game. I yeah. did beat it. I loved that game. That yeah. was good. How are the pets? Uh, They're good. Mm-hmm. Duncan's good. Zuko's alive. For now, uh, not by my choice. His choice, not by his choice. By sheer spite alone. It was Zuki who took your gazebo. Zuki took my gazebo. Mm-hmm. Zuki Tanuki. Zuki Tanuki. With the uh, two month gazebo. With the two- <laughs> Blue Sky asked if you had a HUD heads up display. She didn't oh, say that, you. but I figured I'd clarify for anyone who didn't. Do know. I also have a GUI? A, a graphical user interface. Yeah. Um, Do you know who actually if you represented heard, the GUI? I don't. Stop. It, <laughs> it was, wasn't Gwen Stefani. Fuck you. It was the Xerox Corporation. If you had a HUD that showed three stats about any person you looked at, what three stats would you want it to show? Age, sex, and location. location. <laughs> 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 Fucking classic. <laughs> um, <clears throat> how many toddlers they could beat in a fight? Yep. How many times they've lied to me? But not the subject of the lies, just the number. And how many times they've done a California stop? Oh. The California roll. Because those yeah. people are pieces of shits. Because I don't do that. My mom does. She looks like she would. She's from California. Yeah. And it and shows. It shows. <laughs> Okay. Yours was answer. I believe I gave my <laughs> <Yeah>. answer. <laughs> uh, replay camera two. Chloe. I, yes. Uh, I didn't. Familiar. Yeah. Uh, what is something a teacher or mentor said that really resonated with you? I'm glad that this was like the last bit because like, this is like two actually, really good questions. It's actually Chloe. like a genuine question. Um, what's something that teacher said that resonated with you? Um, Can I say something that, that Eric's dad told him that? I was then told of the whole like you can hurt people thing like because I think about that all the time. That was okay. So let's go with that. Let's. You know, my father was. You know, he taught me things. So he was a teacher in my life. Don't ditch your friends. <laughs> don't ditch your friends. Well, he didn't even say don't. He was just like, you really did that. Like just like the the chutzpah, the balls on this kid. Right. The oh my god. Um. No. So one time when I was a when I was a small small boy. Mm-hmm. Um. I was had, this before the YouTube channel. It, a little bit, just a little bit okay. before. Um, I had, we had, we had, we had a, uh, my, my dad had built like a little fort. We called it a fort. It was, a, that's a bit of a grand word for what it was. Um, but we considered it a fort mm-hmm. in the backyard. It was a pretty basic little wood thing that you could like stand on top of. And my sister and I were playing out there, you know, I don't know, just doing dumb shit. And she decided she wanted to go inside. And I didn't want to go yet. And I was like, we're playing a game. And she's like, well, I'm done. I was like, well, I'm not. And she's like, well, I'm done. So she climbed down off the fort and went to go inside. And I got mad. 
and we had a wiffle bat up there which to be clear a wiffle bat is like plastic it's you know it's got like holes in it yeah it's soft it's not gonna like and a wiffle ball is like imagine like a sphere that was made of like a thin plastic that then had holes, holes. In it. yeah so like you're not gonna get hurt with a wiffle bat it's not like a baseball bat i mean um, you could, if you hit someone right in the eye you it, maybe would, it would be uncomfortable you could actually hurt like an adult could hurt somebody with it yes but a kid probably won't yeah so i had the wiffle bat and i think maybe bring it and, like, I was not a particularly sporty child. Mm-hmm. I imagine you in just your, your little overalls, just like, I'm not a particular, with one strap down. But not a, I'm partic- not a sporty boy. Not a particularly sporty boy. And you did, like, on your little shirt, like, roll up Cuffs your sleeves. Sleeve. You, you cuffed your sleeves because, you know, it started young. Yes. So, but somehow, despite not being particularly sporty, I managed for, like, the first time in my life, to have absolutely perfect aim Mm -hmm. as I one-handedly picked up the wiffle bat and just threw it, like, tomahawk style at the back of my sister's head. Tomahawk style. From across the yard. Mm -hmm. And it just, bam, hit her in the back of the head. Again, it's a wiffle bat, so it didn't actually, like, hurt her. But... She's she's also the sister, so that means she's she's allowed to cry. So she bursts into tears. Also, it was not comfortable. Well, she's a coward. Well, well, was she crying but because playing. she knew it was going to get you she, in trouble? Or did she... That was probably a factor. Because that's what my sister did. Cause my sister did that shit all the time. Yeah, that's definitely a thing that she had I done. I threw a seatbelt. I tossed a seatbelt at her, and it accidentally like like hit her head. Because uh-huh. she, was, she was like... Gave me a smirk. I'm like, and then started started crying, crying. And I got yeah. fucking yelled at for it. I'm like, you bitch. I'm like, I will remember this. And she goes, why do you still bring that up? I'm like, why did you do it? <laughs> If you didn't want me to judge you for your actions, you shouldn't have made those actions. It's true. Yeah. No. Um, and so, so I like, I threw it and I hit her and, you know, and then she started crying and she ran inside and I did not like run inside. I felt very justified in what I had done. So I just like sat up there in the fort and I was like, I, I won, you know, like I, like, you know, as though I had done something correct, which I had not, you should not use violence. And so then my dad came out. Use violas. And my dad came out. And I thought, you know, he was going to, like, yell at me or something. And instead of, like, yelling at me or something, he, like, he climbed up in the fort and he, like, sat down next to me or whatever. And he, you know, I can't remember the exact phrases that he used or whatever, but he was basically like, you need to learn how to control your anger Mm -hmm. because you can't do something like that because one day you're going to be big and strong and you will be able to hurt people and it's not going to be a wiffle bat and you could actually hurt someone and so you need to you know figure out how to you know react in a way that can't hurt someone because someday you're going to be able to hurt somebody and that was a weirdly poignant moment like it's a very simple Mm -hmm. like truth is that like yeah you need to like not freak out yeah. and you know like hurt somebody but it was said like not like he wasn't like yelling at me or anything it was just said very matter-of-factly and simply of like one day you will be in a position where you can hurt people and you need to never do that so, yeah yeah no i mean that's and you still like remember it yeah and didn't you say he has no memory of that he really does not remember it he's like i remember he's like i, I remember your sister crying and me going out there he's like i don't remember what i said which is like that's like a whole thing where it's like people never remember like that like the little things you say matter yeah well like for me so i had started working at the hotel and i worked overnights and i was being mentored by the agm um to like take over for like a more like a like front desk manager which i ended up getting um and you know working at a hotel overnight doing night audit uh it basically was i got paid to watch netflix i didn't really have to do much but I, you know, had about like an hour or two's worth of work to actually do that really wasn't hard. It was like delivering receipts, printing stuff out, running reports, getting the last people checked in. But the other part of that was, which shit happens, I got to be there, I got to document, I need to do whatever I can. And the problem is that unless there's like a fire, I can't really be calling him. I mean, I could when I was still new, but like I need to learn to not just call him or call uh, the GM who I'm still really good friends with. Um and, you know, because it's, like, 3 in the morning, like, yeah. I, I try not to. And I was just, like, so struggled because I'm, like, I just don't know, like, like, how do I know, like, what I'm supposed to do? I've never done it. And he's, like, look. And it, it, this is one of those things that, like, I have taken with me through my professional career, and it's only <laughs> benefited me 
yeah. um, is a lot of people will try to the whole like, I don't know. Like, why did you do this? And it's like, I don't know, because you don't want to get in trouble. Mm-hmm. And so um, the uh, like Aaron had told me he was like, because he asked me like why I did this. And I was like, well, I was like, um, I thought it was right because they did this and did that. And he goes, that's the right way to do things. I'm like, what do you mean? I was like, that, that wasn't right. It was wrong. He's like, no, you're correct. You were wrong. But he's like, he's like, I am, your, you know, I am always going to be in your corner supporting you, even if it's the wrong decision, as long as you had a logical reason, even if it was a wrong, if it was wrong logic, mm-hmm. bad logic, you at least, I could see why you saw a, like a stimulus you took B, C, D action and resulted in E result. And E result is not the result that should have happened, but because you know why you did it, and it's not just, oh, I don't know, like that's what we do. It's like, no, they did this. And so I, I it was like, I could either go ahead and take their card or I could push back further and like do whatever. And it's like, I should have just pushed back further. I shouldn't have taken the card. It was a whole thing, you know, but like, I also had never been in that position, but it's like, mm-hmm. I just got to make a decision. I'm like, as long as I have a solid, like logic, logical reasoning to back it up, then he's like, I will always back you up. Like you're never going to get fired unless, I mean, he's like, you'd have to do something really fucking stupid to get fired. Right. Like, and you would know what that is, but like, if it's wrong, it's wrong. But like, now that you know what you did wrong, you can tell me what you did. And I will tell you where in that process, mm-hmm. the mistake occurred. Yeah. And what that resulted in is that I didn't really make that mistake again. And then, I would continue applying that to problems. And we both started working at the company we did now. We were in the same department. Mm-hmm. A lot of people were like, how do you guys know so much? And you picked up on stuff even quicker than I did. And it's like, well, because I ask questions. I want yeah. to know why. I want to know the reason. I don't want to just do things because that's what you do. Like, I want to have a better understanding to the point where then we had, you know, like uh, the lead positions where people just wouldn't ask them questions. They just asked mm-hmm. us because we probably knew more than they did. Yeah. Because and you're more questions. willing to explain it. Well, yeah. But like, so like that kind of thing is like that, that lesson of just, if you're going to do something, know why you're doing it. Be able to, it's like a real life equivalent of like, show your work. Show your like work. Math class. Yeah. Like be able to explain to me why mm-hmm. you came to that decision. And being able to admit you're wrong will get you far, far better. Yeah. Far, far, far better off than like being like, oh, I don't know. Like, cause I don't want to like look wrong. Like, Hey, no, like I did this and I, you know, Here's the emails. This is why I did this. And it's like, oh, well, you really shouldn't have. You really like messed, you know, you messed or whatever. But it's like, mm-hmm. but you can tell me where that is. We can correct that. And this right. won't happen again versus like, well, why'd you do it? And it's like, I don't know. And sometimes the answer is just, I don't know what the hell I was doing. Right. When I, made I just this decision. messed up. Like, especially with the stuff that, you know, like, it's like, I, dude, this was like two months ago. I don't yeah. know what the fuck I was smoking. Yeah. It could have just been I was doing a bunch of stuff all at the same time and like I just totally just spaced because it happens, you know, statistical error, humans make errors. Yeah. So like it's within, you know, variance, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. So um I think we have one last question, right? Yes. Sure. Also the question segment is I think longer than the regular segment. Yeah. Which we could trim or our, our grand schemes of this will be a short one. No. We yeah. shouldn't even say that. Because yeah. that always just means it's it not gonna be it. What good habit do you have now that you wish you started earlier? And what bad habit do you wish you could quit slash had years ago? I almost don't want to answer the second half because that is like a two questioner and that would give them three questions. That would give Chloe three questions. And also, I don't want to talk about bad habits. I know I chew my nails and I spit my nails in my car and I got to clean my car out. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Well. What's, what good habit do you have now that you wish you started earlier? Uh, I'm much better about dental health now. Yeah, same. And I really wish I had done that sooner because, like, take care of your teeth Mm because, like, teeth are expensive. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, that's something that I wish I would have established much earlier in my life. Mm -hmm. And it was not for lack of my parents trying or something. It was just me being a dipshit. I'm just lazy. Yeah. Literally. Well, if you're depressed and you know that, like, you know, you're eventually going to be done, like, you don't have to fix your problems. And then you go, okay, I, I grew, I grew through that and came out the other side. Now I have to deal with all these problems. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, yeah, no, that, that's definitely, you know, that's a much better habit that I have now. Yeah. Bad habit. Um, that I, I had I quit could years quit. ago. So I guess it could be something you already did quit, but you wish you would have done sooner. I wish I quit drinking sooner. 
honestly. I will say that. I'm very glad that I have. It's been like a year and a half now. Um, and even then, you had slowed down, too. Like Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I wish I had well, quit that a year sooner, and a half but... ago. Beginning of the beginning of lockdown, absolutely it not. Was we not were getting slowing tanked. down. It was it, it sped up it's real quick. We up. had a blast. We threw that shit into <laughs> overdrive. God, I mean, we went. We don't have to go in the office. <laughs> then that oh, means God. you can drink on a weekday. No. Yeah. We didn't. Was, we yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't do that. No, we totally didn't. <laughs> you know, but like if everyone else can, they just do it at a bar. And suddenly, it's okay. Yeah. That's well, the we bullshit. weren't drunk at work. No, we weren't, well, drunk, we, do, were, we weren't drunk during work, work hours. hours. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I wish I had quit that sooner, and I wish I had um, gotten a better relationship with food sooner in my life. Mm. Mm-hmm. The amount, not even. I just also from a wish health, you would have got a better. Honestly, not even just from a health perspective, from a fucking money perspective. Yeah. I've wasted so much money on like fast food shit over the years. Yeah. And like, yeah, it's like cigarettes. Yeah, or or like the one dollar Pornhub premium trials. The Sacagawea coin. The Saka one Sacagawea coin, coin can get you some HD. <laughs> it's not what you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man! All right. Well, like it's late. It's midnight. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. Um, yeah, so thanks everybody for listening to the podcast. Hopefully, I mean, there was some weird ups and downs. This was t- truly a bizarre we went adventure. On many levels. This um, started out as Eric's episode, and then like you came in hot. Set. Well, like it's funny because, like, even though like there's a lot of questions, I'm like, if we just answer these questions, there's not a lot there, but I'm like, we always like spin off from them and go yeah. and, and go off for a bit. So like, it, it's fun. I like it. Yeah. It'll get to a point where, especially if we start to like, if it starts to kind of grow and take off and we start getting a lot more questions that we do have to be like, you get one question. Yeah. And we might and have, we have to like start pick and choose. Questions. Yeah. yeah. And also, you know, potentially like s- saving some questions for like, like for next time, like it's yeah. in the pool. Like it, it won't always be like right now it's, it's manageable enough. So yeah. Hey, I think we're gonna. You were telling me like well, this would be like an hour and seven minutes, hour ten minutes, and then it was like an hour and a half, and then it was like an hour. It was like almost two hours. This one's get this one's just hit over two hours, two and hours. I'm like, I don't know if there's four minutes for us to cut. Which I mean, it doesn't matter. It's, it doesn't matter. People enjoy it. If anything, people like the longer stuff. Anyway, yeah. the more we're talking, the more we're good. But yeah. Um. In that case, this has been the Hell Hell you yeah podcast. podcast and the end of quick 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 quick. quick. Um, Our one and only segment. It's the only segment. We might get um, the, the pickages. Pickages. We can't call it mail because like Gus and Eddie podcast call it like mail. And so we can't do that because otherwise we're truly copying. So them. they call it female. <laughs> it's, it's, it's packages that were diverted from FEMA funds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we should probably go to bed. Yeah. Sometime today. Bedtime, All right. Good night. Bedtime. Goodbye. When is it? Goodbye. Where's the gazebo? It's gone.